We have BJ, we have Roz, the two people that are usually on into my stream. How you doing, Roz? How was your, how was your, uh, what you call it, your, your painting party? How was that? BJ, thank you for joining me. I don't think it's 8-bit. This is, um... This is not 8-bit. It's from the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance is like 32-bit, I guess. No, 16-bit or maybe a little bit more. So, 32-bit, I guess. I don't know. But this is from Ace Attorney. It's a Game Boy Advance game. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. So, um... It's not like... It's music from a video game. I never played this game before in my life, but I just like this song a lot. I, I heard it a lot in like other people's videos and then I went to to go search for it. So, and I finally found it like a couple like weeks ago and I was like, that that's the one, I like it. Oh, really? No, it's not MIDI, it's not MIDI. It's from, um, it's definitely not MIDI. I don't think Game Boy Advance had MIDI music. It was fun. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. I gotta check it out. Power Rangers fans. I remember watching the Power Rangers back then, but I don't, I never really cared for them like that. I never really bought into the hype. I liked the toys though back then. I had a few Power Rangers when I was a little boy. That was pretty cool. How you been, BJ? Did you go get lunch? Cause it's like every weekend you go out to get lunch, you, you know. I wish I could do that, honestly. Like when I was working, well, I'm still working. Why, why would I say when I was? But um, I used to go to the Outback Steakhouse in Manhattan and um, I'd either get myself a, what you call it, an Outback burger or I'd get myself grilled chicken, a salad and a side order of mac and cheese. And I like the mac and cheese grilled chicken, but that should, you know, that's expensive. But a meal at Outback Steakhouse could go upwards to like $20 and it's like, eh. I don't know, maybe I'll go back there this week because it's been a long time. Because now, thinking about it, I want some grilled chicken and mac and cheese. But the problem is they give you a small portion now and it's like, come on bro, the fuck? That's not gonna fucking fuel me. But I'm, I'm hearing that Thanksgiving is this week. So I'm kind of happy about that a little bit, even though if I don't really, I'm not really happy in the holidays and shit.
You used to love Outback. Jason David Frank died at... Wait a minute. I was just looking at Jason David Frank the other day. What are you fucking talking about? He's dead? Because I was... You know what? Because the thing is, is that I, I was watching like the other day, like a, like a clip of him fighting in MMA. Jason David Frank. The Green Ranger. Like he has a dojo in Houston. I know that. Because um, I was watching a video of Jared Genesis and then um, he went to Jason David Frank's dojo and then he was saying like, yeah, I I'm experienced. And then Jason David Frank was like, yeah, okay, so go up against my guy right here. And Jared Genesis got fucked up. And he was mad at him. Jason David Frank. I, I what the fuck? What? I would literally I was just watching one of his like clips the white ranger I was literally watching one of his clips the other day Jason David Frank what the fuck he offed himself when was this why'd he do it he was like a kid's hero yeah he Damn, that's fucking horrible. Shit. Now let me turn this music down. Yo, literally, I was just reading about him. Now, he... He, um... He, he committed suicide, dude. I don't know how he did it, but it says that he took his own life. What the fuck, bro? I didn't expect that to happen. And I was literally reading up on the guy the other day. Like, literally, like, t a day or two ago. And I, I actually watched a clip of him fighting in MMA, and he, he, he won that bout. And I was like, yo, this is the, the Green Ranger, yo. He actually, and look what happens. He, he passed away. And then they said something about that there's a curse with, with the Power Rangers cast. Because I know that the lady who played the Yellow Ranger back in the day, she died in a car accident 20 years ago. And then um, the, the chick that played Rita Repulsa, she died um, of a disease. Like that that's just fucked man. Like literally searching about him the other day. That that's just fucked, man. That's sad. You know, this is the second time that this is the second time that I'm streaming that I found out that somebody famous passed away. Because a couple of weeks ago, like two weeks ago, maybe a week or two ago, I was playing uh, I was streaming and then so I don't one of you guys told me that Aaron Carter passed away. So that that's just really fucked. I think my streams are cursed because you know what this is the second time I found out that somebody famous passed away. And um he was he wasn't a part of my childhood because the Power Rangers was not a uh, a part of my childhood. I didn't really care for them. But um, I remember him being there. I remember everybody wanted to be like him. He had that fucking cool ponytail. Like that guy was badass. He he was the white ranger. He was the green ranger. He had a cool ponytail. Like he was he was awesome. It was everybody wanted to be like him. I know he had a dojo in Houston. I know that much. I mean, whatever he was going through because he took his own life. He was going through a lot of shit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it was a gunshot wound. But he was going through a lot of shit. And you never know. And that guy, honestly, you know, he, he was a legend. All right. He was in a legendary 
position in, in a role in one of the most longest running franchises for kids right and he was and many many children throughout like decades they looked up to him he was a staple in the series he was the green ranger the white ranger you know he's um he's a part of a lot of people's childhood and um i'm pretty sure a lot of kids looked up to him back then you know in the power rangers Power Rangers wasn't a big part of my life, but still, like, I remember him. That was, you know, Power Rangers came smack dab in my childhood. Like, and again, I was not into the Power Rangers. I I don't know why. I was, like, the only little boy not really into them. I liked the, the toys were cool, but I didn't really care for the show. I don't know. I never cared for those Bandai shows that was like about like martial arts fighting because it was like too campy and cheesy for me, even at that age. So. Yeah, but I'm gonna play the game right now. We've, um, we've established that. I was gonna put a damper to my mood and there's a fucking siren. Now we'll wait for you. <laughs> you hear, you guys hear that, right? Um, BJ, yeah, you, you're the bearer of bad news, jeez, bro, <laughs> nah, um, you were the one that told us, I think, I don't know, I don't remember, but, you know, obviously, this isn't the first time that I received news about a celebrity passing, obviously, but this is the second time that it happened in a span of a month, while I was streaming, dude, that, that's kind of like, whoa, Forget about it, it's New York. All right, I'm going to begin the game. Let's do this. I'm always playing this fucking song, bro. Ah, shut up. All right, let's 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 do this shit. I'm just checking the shit. And let me know if it's too um if it's too loud for me, okay guys? It's like if you can't barely hear me. Some somber music, some bittersweet music for Jason David Frank. Green Ranger, the White Ranger, Power Ranger, Legend. Alright, let's begin. All right, well, we last left off here yesterday. I went for four hours. I was just talking to Raven and um, Hachi, and it was a pleasant conversation that we had. I think, BJ, since you were actually watching my stream yesterday, I mean, yesterday's stream today, I think you should watch the, the last hour of my stream because it was, like, very... I, I you know, that was my favorite part of the stream was the last hour. I really... I wasn't playing, I was just, you know, I was being my real self, and um, we shared a few stories, and, you know, we talked about a lot of cool, wholesome shit, you know, I really enjoyed that, and hopefully I could get a repeat of that today on this stream. Yo, guys, let me know if everything is, like, if, if, if it's too loud, alright, because I need you guys to help me with that. Because I want everything to be balanced out and I want you guys to hear. Forget about it. Hey, you damn right. You tell him, BJ. Alright, I gotta... What else do I have to do here? Let me see. If my voice kind of sounds like a little raspy, is because um, even though I'm not sick anymore... I have um I have asthma, right? It's very mild, all right. I don't need a pump, but I do have asthma. So whenever I get a cold, and I get um chest congestion, like cold, well, the cold will pass, but I'll still have um my my lungs will still be like tight, my chest will still be tight, 
because of the asthma because it, it you know it irritates the asthma so i'm i'm still long after I, I i fought off a cold and i'm better i'm still coughing for a month Yeah, that's Scorpio, you damn right. But guys, just before I streamed, I decided to um tell a story. And this is like the fourth or fifth time I'm, I attempted to do it because I always find something wrong with my original recording. Maybe I feel like it goes on too long. Maybe I feel like I should, like, you know, I should recite the story better. And I feel like I did a good job this time around, but the problem is it went longer because I go into full detail and it's a long story. So it's like an hour long, so be, you know, it's about Rust. It's about that game Rust, so, um, you know, if you guys want to be on the lookout for that, just let me know, guys. And once again, let me know, if, like, the volume, my voice, my voice and the game volume and the music. Tell me if it's unbalanced, please. Because I hate to like go back to these streams and hear that like I'm I'm talking over like the music and shit. Like it's kind of annoying and, and most of all it's not good for you guys. Yo, what's up, A A Ron? Thank you for joining me. I think you were playing a game. I think you were playing RuneScape. How was that game? Like I've heard about it a long time, but I never bothered to check it out, A A Ron. You gotta grab my your blankie. Well, A.A. Ron, I, like I said, I am, I did, like, record myself telling the story about my time playing Rust and, like, the toxic saga that I went through with a group and a troll, and it's, like, fucking epic, but it's, like, an hour and, a, and ten minutes long, and I had, like, I, I go into a lot of detail, so, um, I'm gonna turn that into a video. Roller skating buddy. Hey Roz, how you doing? I don't roller skate Roz, you talking to me? I don't roller skate Roz. <laughs> you grew up playing um, RuneScape. How long you been playing RuneScape, AA Ron? Cause I know like my little cousins back in the day, they used to talk about RuneScape a lot. Like I, one of my little cousins, he, when he was younger, he was like, yo, I'm playing RuneScape. And he used to show me like RuneScape and I was like, I don't I don't get it. What's so cool about it? He's like, oh, it's cool. You could do this, you could do that. And I'm just like, mm hmm, all right. I, I, I skateboard, but it's like, I haven't really skateboarded since I, um, I sprained my knee. I tried to skateboard last week, but there was too many kids in the park. And then I was just like, nah, I can't. Cause I'm gonna bust my ass and I don't want to run over some kids. I'm still in physical therapy because I sprained a ligament. It's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Roz, oh, Roz is talking to you. <laughs> what the fuck? Roz is talking to you because BJ wouldn't hold your hand in in the roller rink to um Backstreet Boys. I wanted that away. Am I your fire? The one desire. BJ sing along if you know the words. Yes, I know that it's too late. But I want it that way. BJ, why ain't nothing but a heartache? BJ, why ain't nothing but a mistake? BJ, why I never wanna hear you say? A. A. Ron doesn't wanna hear you say. A. A. Ron wants it that way. <laughs> You recently, whoa. I read the messages before they pop up on the screen for you guys because I'm, I'm watching the stream as well so I could read your messages. I don't have a, I don't have a dual monitor. I mean, I could, I could just hook up the monitor that I have on top of my, um, what you call it, on top of my computer 
on the shelf i have a monitor like a like an old tv hd tv but i i don't want to keep looking up and shit i would like to look to the side <clears throat> it's not gay to hold hands with another dude i know i've held hands with my father my father held my hand when i was a kid like crossing the street is that gay i held my nephew's hand because it's like i was walking him to a place and I held his hand and he's a little boy, he's a toddler. Is that gay, BJ? Is that is that sexual? That shouldn't be, dude. You recently lost access to your 16-year-old Woonscape account and as silly as it sounds, it's painful to start over. Only played for maybe an hour before the, the stream wanted me to switch games. Yo, you didn't tell me you were streaming, bro. What the fuck? Can I knock this shit down? Alright, let me do some fucking missions. Alright, I'll do some missions. I'm straight AA Rizzle. Go ask Rabbit or Spooky if they want to hold hands with you at the ring. <laughs> yeah, it's not gay, BJ. It's only gay when you think it's gay. Alright, if you have that mindset that everything is gay, then it is gay. You know what I mean? Just like I said to, to Leslie Tanner when I called him like a month ago about like my habit of sleeping underneath cars and lashing myself onto the chassis to travel. If it, it, It's only bad if you think it's bad. So, BJ, it's only gay if you, if you think it's gay. It's totally legit and it's totally hetero. Just Reports like... It's just like when I, um, that comment that I made years ago on a Ken Kniff Eminem uh, skit with Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J, that, that skit that Eminem does on his album, that, that, it sound, that is like Ken Kniff is getting a blowjob from both of them, he's like, oh yeah, suck it, passing the Violent J. I comment that, you know what, I might be straight, but I, I found that very easy to masturbate to. And I left that comment there and people were calling me gay. And then I said, it's only gay if you think it's gay. It's completely natural and hetero. Thank you, BJ, for, for that quick shot. You know. <laughs> it is different, yeah, but... I need to know when the full copy of your cover is coming out, Baron. The full copy of what cover, the, the the Backstreet Boys, I Want It That Way. You want to know when that, that, that's coming out? Yeah, I'm protecting the kid, but you know. Hey, BJ, come on, BJ, come on. Let, let, let's not, let's not be, this is the year 2022, BJ. We gotta, we gotta gain ground. We gotta make... You know, this is a new decade. This is a new in a new century. You know, we haven't been in the 21st century for that long. Only about 22 years. You know, it felt like yesterday that it was 1999. Now, you and I, BJ, I think we remember what 1999 was like, even though we were at different stages of life. You know, but we remember 1999. We, rem we remember the apocalypse. We remember the sky was all purple and people running everywhere. But, you know, you and I both know that you try to run from your discretion, but you didn't even care. Because, you know what? 2000, 2000 the party was over, oops, and we were out of time. So what we did was just party. We were just going to party like it's 1999, BJ. You and I, I know you, BJ. You and I, we were both young dudes at the time well i was younger than you because i was a child but we both had lines in our park and in our pocket and they both were ready to roar if you know what i mean and you know what i was a little boy at that time and you were you were a man and you were you had that line in the pocket for all those chicks back then in the 90s i know you did bj but you know i didn't do those things because i was a little boy so I was innocent. You haven't streamed since Thursday. Oh, okay. Oh, that was weeks ago. All right. 
Yeah, you gotta, like Ross says, you gotta hug and hold the homies' hands every once in a while, you know? Like, if you're out in nature, if you guys get stranded in nature and it's cold one night, you gotta take your clothes off and huddle up next to each other because of the body warmth, you know? That's a survival tactic, you know? That's totally how to work. You know, everything, you could, you could negate everything, you could just say no homo, and then it cancels out the gay polarity. So if you think something is gay, all you have to say is no homo, and it cancels out any gay polarity. So you be good, BJ. So tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999. Roz. Um, you know what, Roz, is your mother anywhere around? Is she, like, anywhere near you, Roz? Like, I hope so. Like, are you around your mother right now? And I'm not gonna be disrespectful to you, Roz, but I'm, I just wanna know if your mother's around. BJ had a rat tail in 1999. Yo, BJ had a 1090. That's what he had back then. He had 10% 10, 10 in the front, 90% in the back. Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah, he had that. I know BJ. That's what's up. He had frosted tips. Yo, fucking die already. He's like, you can't run, but... He had a mullet. <laughs> Your hair was short. You, your hair is still short, BJ. Yeah, it's broke back mountain, yo. It's broke back mountain, and then we play that song by that chick. I forgot her her name, but she's an artist. She used to sing that song back then in the '90s. She was a guitar player, and she's lesbian. And that song goes, "Climb through my window." That song that was everywhere, like on fucking adult contemporary radio and shit. Climb through my window. He had Jinko jeans. Yo, that's what's up. He never wore Jinko. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. Yo, Roz, go get your mom right now. And I want you to put this put the volume loud because I would like to serenade your mother right now can you please do that and I'm gonna be respectful I, I'm not gonna be disrespectful I don't disrespect people's mothers but I, I, I appreciate that your mom she found me to be hilarious and I appreciate her following me on um, Instagram so I would like to serenade her right now Roz if you if you'd be so kind Roz yes that, that that's that lesbian song Climb through my window. I used to remember hearing that song everywhere when I was a kid. Climb through my window. <laughs> oh shit, there's a lot of shit going on here. Why why don't you guys invite me to the party? If you would be so kind. All right, cool, Roz, cool. All right, guys. I'm gonna, the first time ever, I'm going to serenade one of my faithful viewers and a friend of ours. I'm gonna serenade their mother right now with a song by the artist formerly known as Prince, the late Prince. Melissa Etheridge is a les, that, that was the name, Melissa Etheridge, right? Yeah, she is lesbian. That song was everywhere, though. I used to listen to that song everywhere when I was a kid. Like, I didn't listen to it, like, on my own volition, but, like, every time I got dragged into a store back in the 90s, that song would always be on every freaking radio. Climb through my window. Yeah, it was from another woman. Yeah, well, she was lesbian. I saw the music video. 
I can't blame her. Women are hotter than men. I mean, yeah, I mean, women are totally hotter than men. I was just like, on my last stream, I was just talking about, what the fuck? Yo, who did that to that poor lady? Oh my goodness. Somebody just tossed her in the air. It was like some poltergeist or some shit. But, um, I was talking about yesterday on my stream, like about Belle Delphine. That I don't simp for her and shit like that. And I will never buy anything or give her money. But if she was to come my way, I have that little pretty, that little pretty British chick speaking Spanish, man. You know what I mean, man? Shit. No, he, no, Aaron was talking about he doesn't blame her for liking women because women are hotter than men. And he's correct. Melissa, El what was her name? Melissa Etheridge, whatever. Yeah, she, she looked, she looked very masculine. So, but then again, that, you know, she's allowed to look masculine. She likes, you know, she plays for the other team. So it is what it is. And it didn't stifle her as a creator. She's a talented artist. She was good with the guitar. But that fucking song was fucking everywhere, man. Clap to me, win, yeah. Clap to my window. <laughs> She's hotter than men. I mean, if it was a difference between if I had to bang her or a guy, obviously I'm going to choose her because she's a woman. Look at the purple plasma. You know what, Baron? You have a phase. I have a phase plasma auto rifle at a 40 watt range, BJ. You're, you're goddamn right, BJ. See, BJ know, knows what it's about. BJ know what, what, what is up with that. Yeah. She be like. I'm through my window. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. What the fuck, lady? What are you doing here? Okay. I'm gonna do this right now. This is gonna be quite odd. This is... Roz is here and she's with her mom. Hello, Mrs. Roz's mom. I appreciate that you follow me on Instagram. I appreciate that you find me funny, man. And your daughter is very supportive. She's always on the first. She's always the first one in the streams, right, ma'am? And she's very supportive and very, very, very cool to talk to, ma'am. And she, she's awesome. You, you raised an awesome daughter, ma'am. And I would like to... I would like to serenade you right now, man, because I, I, I've i learned that you are a, a fellow Prince fan just like me, and right now this is going to be odd. Sing along if you know the words. Oh shit, here we go. I'm gonna make an ass out of myself. This is for Ross's mom. I guess I should have known how way you parked your car sideways that it wouldn't last. Since you're the kind of person that believes in making out once, love him and leave him fast. I guess I must be dumb. Cause you had a pocket full of horses, Trojans and some of them used. 
But it was Saturday night, I guess that makes it alright And you say, what have I got to lose? And honey, I say, little red Corvette Baby, you're much too fast Yes, you are, little red Corvette You need to find a love that's gonna last Guess I should have closed my eyes when you drove me to the place where your horses run free. Cause I felt a little ill when I saw all the pictures of the jockeys that were there before me. Believe it or not, I started to worry, wondering if I had enough class. <laughs> But it was Saturday night, that just makes it all right And you say, baby, I got enough gas Oh yeah, little red Corvette Baby, you're much too fast I said, yes you are, little red Corvette <clears throat> You need to find a love that's gonna lie has little red Corvette Bunny, you got to slow down Little Red Corvette <laughs> Oh, a body like yours Ought to be in jail Cause it's on the verge of being obscene Move over, baby Give me the keys I'm gonna try to tame your little red love machine Woo! Little Red Corvette Baby, you're much too fast Yes, you are Little Red Corvette You need to find a love That's gonna lie has Little Red Corvette Baby Honey, you got to flow You got to slow down Oh, Little Red Corvette <laughs> Oh boy I forgot to warm up my vocals I'm not a singer, bro. I can't sing for sh shit. Bro, I can't sing for shit. I, when I say I can't sing for shit, I can't. But I, I choose to do this just to make people laugh. And I hope Roz's mom, she, she, she appreciate it. I'm not classically trained. I'm not trained in singing. I would like to learn how to sing. And maybe I would be able to develop that. But I have no experience in singing other than just making an ass out of myself. So... Thank you, Roz's mom, for the compliments, and I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I didn't embarrass you. I hope I didn't slaughter that song. And most importantly, I hope that the artist formerly known as Prince doesn't come back from the grave and, you know, haunts me to the day I die. I told you I can't sing for shit, but I just do it just to goof. And plus, another thing, I'm still coughing from my sickness, like, I have asthma too, so like, I'm still coughing. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Let's see, that's what I got. She said she appreciates it and it made her day and you could have the keys. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is what I do. I, I serenade a, a friend's mom because I, I like to consider you guys as friends. But you are a viewer too. I, can, I, I serenade a viewer's mom. Never, never before have I ever done that for anybody. I make a complete ass out of myself, but at least I made somebody's day. So that that's that's what my stream is about. Having fun and and you guys could watch me be a fucking ass clown and embarrass myself and everything's all cool. Thank you, Roz's mom, for the positivity that you've sent me before. Thank you. Everybody say say thank you to well not say thank you, but like throw like, like say, you know what? Roz's mom is awesome. She's an awesome mom. She's voted the coolest mom in the world. I appreciate it.
All right, let's let's actually do a mission. Cause I, I just been goofing off. If that doesn't get me a fucking a partnership with PooTube, I don't know what will. If that doesn't earn me a fucking recording contract, then shit, the world is the world is not the place to be. But hey, let, let's put it this way. At least I sing better than Chris, like than Christian and the what's it called, Christian and the Hedgehog Boys, Chris Chance, like fake band. At least I take the cake. I mean, you gotta admit that. Why? Why is it that I can't be here, but everybody else can, huh? What? What do you got against blue people? Are you racist? You got something against white blood cells? Why? Why? Why do you got something against white blood cells, huh? The chat goes quiet. Like everybody's just fucking baffled as fuck. I'm gonna slap that ass. I'm gonna slap that ass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, can't get enough. Nah, 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 Roz's mom, she, she needs to, Roz's mom is a pure lady, she does not need to know about Chris Chan, alright, Roz's mom is the saint, she's, you know what, in this community, she's, she's, Roz's mom is the first mom in this community, okay, so Roz's mom is voted the coolest, what in the name of all that is holy in breakfast cereal, <laughs> I don't know what I did to this guy. Oh, what the hell? I just walk into him and that's it. I got a sniper on me. I'm gonna blow this gas pipe. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! No! Ooh. Don't take it personal. It was a design flaw. That's all. Ah, I wounded him. Ah. It wounded me. I'm doing some cleaning at the same time. All right. Do, are you wearing like a little apron, like a French maid apron? A A Ron, you got your little feather duster too. In your in your you know in your stockings. Can you refer to me as Mr. Belvedere, please, A.A. Ron? While you, while you clean my, um, you clean my television set? <laughs> the French maid. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, A.A. Ron. I do cleaning, too. But I do cleaning in that attire, so I'm just imposing, you know, myself onto you. <clears throat> you had to do that in Terminator? Overload Skynet Outposts? I think, you know what, Roz, I'm glad that, you know what, I, I'm glad that, that I, I had you at that point, because that was my goal, is to, just to make people fucking laugh and shit, so, I'm glad that you were crying of laughter, I'm glad that I entertained you and your mother, I thank you guys for being a part of it, and I can't take this down, right? You want to indulge my fantasies and BJ's? Salva mia. That, that's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> the men of the Pen15 community and Aaron's community were close. How close? Oh, <laughs> very close. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Nah, I'm just joking. Oh my god! Damn. That is fucking cool. Thank you, BJ. Thank you for finding me hilarious. I appreciate it.
It's 2022, that's right, nobody's gonna care. It's 2022, it's a new decade, dude. It's a new, brand new decade, you know, where... Uh, what did I win? Oh, I made influence spread here, all right, in this region. Because I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool guy, I'm a nice guy. I'm a melting pot of friendship. I'm a nice guy. I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be black. I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be that happen to be Oriental and Hispanic and Kraut. If you know 10% of what you think you know, you'd be a dangerous AA Rizzle. Yo, AA Ron knows a lot of shit. All right. Look at this shit, look at, look, I didn't even do anything to these men. I don't know how is that physically possible. I just run into them. They might be homophobic. <laughs> what? No, I'm just joking. I'm not... <laughs> Ooh. That, that wasn't me, that was, um, if you guys don't know, there's this, um, internet radio host, his name is Ghost, and he hosts a show called True Capitalist Radio, and he talks about, like, world news and the markets, and he has trolls that always, like, call in and then they, they fuck with him, and they always accuse him of being racist and a midget and, um, an alcoholic, and he gets so... He gets so upset by it, and that's his rant. He's like, I'm a melting pot of friendship. I'm a nice guy. And that's my mind's acting up. The modifying. Yeah, they're, they're probably they're, they're causing all of this shit. The mods that I have. It was fun, dude. Daddy! Zaddy! Wee! Mid J. Oh shit! I gotta go! Can you poke your head out, please? Thank you. Oof. <laughs> Wings of Redemption. I can't take this shit more anymore, man. Look here, look here, look, listen. Appearing offline does not fucking stop it, so stop fucking giving advice that you know fucking nothing about. I can't take this shit no more, man. Look here. Look here, look, listen. Look, listen. Yo, if I could fucking get the attention as wings, man. That guy just sits on his ass and fucking streams and gets harassed and shit. Like I said, I hate the fact that they harass him offline in his real life, but shit. I'll take that shit. You're, like, you're paying me just to, to curse me out, bitch. Like, who, who, who's the who's the bitch now? Like, I love to sit on my ass and make money off of streaming and entertaining people. I would love to do that. I think all of us, I think Aaron, BJ, Rabbit, I think we all want to do that. But we're realistic. Union Rings of, of Redemption? What? Then let's, cut, let, let's, let's try to find fried fast foods of redemption all right we have wings of redemption we have onion rings we have fried calamari of redemption um that, that's what i'm gonna put in fried oreo of redemption what else can we come up with there's jordy wings 
This is your public service announcement for today. Chick-fil-A will have their peppermint chip shake back for a week. I don't like Chick-fil-A much. I've eaten there twice. And um, I don't see the point of it. I like the mac and cheese a little bit. But the thing is the mac and cheese is expensive as fuck. So I don't see the point. When I could make mac and cheese for a little bit of more oven baked and have a fucking tray to myself so I could fucking feast upon that shit and I'm gonna have that shit in about a fucking week cause Thanksgiving is like I think this week I think I'm not sure maybe next week but all I know is I'm gonna have a fucking huge tray of oven baked mac and cheese with turkey and maybe some beef and I'm gonna fucking eat that shit for days man I'm gonna eat that shit cold. I'm gonna eat that shit fresh out of the fucking oven with breadcrumbs. Oh man, that fucking mac and cheese. I look forward to it. That's all I live fucking for. That's the only thing I like about the holidays. I don't like the holidays anymore because I don't have much of a family anymore, but you know, I fucking love mac and cheese and shit. Bacon Kings of Redemption. Bacon of Redemption. Fish Sticks of Redemption. Chicken Fingers of Redemption. Hot Pockets of Redemption. Totino's Pizza Rolls of Redemption. Come on, guys, let's keep doing it. Your CFA must not be very good, but you do make a point price-wise. My CFA? What does CFA mean? I'm stupid, BJ. Pretend I'm like, pretend I'm really stupider than I am. What is a CFA? Because I, I, I don't know what CFA stands for. And you'll be feasting in a beautiful place? Where will you be feasting, BJ? Yo, Thanksgiving is this week. Yo, you know what? Because Roz, she had her Thanksgiving in Canada, right? Like, a couple months ago, I think. A month or two ago. Right? I think we all should send Roz some of our food. Because to, to celebrate the Thanksgiving, that way she'll have two Thanksgivings. Right? And it'll be fucking cool. I think we should all do that. So Roz can have two Thanksgivings. I wish I had two Thanksgivings. I only have one where I can eat all that cool shit. Look it, it's nighttime. How dare you interrupt me in the hour of the Morky? The moon is high and nigh, and it is bright and is beautiful. Because I have this papa right here. And this is the hour of the Morky. How dare you interrupt me? Why do you mock my people? Why do you mock my animals? Chick-fil-A. Ah, Chick-fil-A is ass, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought that thing was gonna fall in that hut. That would've been cool. But nah, but Chick-fil-A... Chick-fil-A sucks ass, though. Are you gonna get picks for us? Oh, that's pretty cool, dude. I didn't know that Chick-fil-A had an abbreviation. I didn't know that. I, I just call it Chick-fil-A. I've only eaten there twice in my life, but um, I, I didn't particularly care for it. I think it was it's just too expensive for my taste. I'll just go to Popeyes. I like that chicken sandwich, that classic chicken sandwich. That, that shit is the bomb diggity. I like the way you work that, no diggity.
Yeah, it, it is overhyped. I mean, it, it didn't taste like garbage because I've been... Like, Taco Bell, I've had, like, the first time I had Taco Bell, what I ordered, it sounded good, but it tasted like fucking garbage. And I ordered it because, um, I was told, like, hey, try it. We're gonna try it together. And then I ordered... I ordered it. I took their suggestion, and I ordered DoorDash. The motherfuckers in DoorDash, they left it on the floor, my order. But not only that, I had rice with that shit. And the fucking rice was in a fucking box, a cardboard fucking box. Like a little cardboard. And it was fucking disgusting. And the whole fucking thing tasted like fucking shit, bro. I was like, yo, fuck it. This is what... Why can't I just fucking eat authentic Mexican cuisine? Because that shit tastes a hell of a lot better than fucking taco hell. That's what I call it, taco hell. I don't know what's the hype with Taco Bell, you, you, but you know what? You guys deserve better than Taco Bell. You need to like, actually eat authentic Mexican cuisine. You deserve better than Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Taco Hell. I need your help in a delicate matter, Scorpio. Stacy, a very loose woman for whom I have no affection, is married to one of my captains. He has her seducing army officials to steal information about government plans and such. Now one of them, the pig dog general Boom Boom Boholano, Boom Boom Boholano, that's that's what's up. looking for her. You must pick her up and escort her to safety. Boom Boom Boholano. That slut of a woman refuses to travel in anything but a limo. As much as it pays She's a me, slut? Scorpio, Wait a minute. You have to oblige her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a slut? Nah, send me in. If she's a slut, I'm all in, yo. I know I know a thing or two about sluts. What the fuck? They might be women who, who destroy marriages and... Lily? I'm sorry, little lady. You shouldn't hear your father talk like this. I'm sorry. I'm not a good influence on you, Lily. But... Going back to what I was saying about sluts. Hey, man, you send me over. What the fuck? Yeah, I used DoorDash before. I used to use it a lot back then, but I use it less so. Only when I'm too lazy to go out 30 blocks to get Wendy's, because I lo fucking love Wendy's. DoorDash. Taco Bell. There is always a hype of Taco Bell, all right? And I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that, but it's like the only people I hear that hype about Taco Bell is like lily white people. They're like, oh my God, Taco Bell. And I'm like, yo, you guys deserve better shit than that, bro. Like, honestly. I like Popeye's chicken sandwich and then I get a little bit of that mac and cheese on the side. And then I order like a, a, a big... Hawaiian punch, but I take a little bit of that mac and cheese and I take the top bun off my Popeye's chicken sandwich and then I put some mac and cheese in it and then you bite into it and that's like the best thing in the world, bro. That shit tastes good. Like Roz is trying to keep, Roz is keeping me in check. She's like, Baron! Roz is, Roz keeps everybody in check. I'm sorry, Roz. You gotta get your hair freshened up like for Tuesday for Thanksgiving. Yo BJ tell me something. Why is why is um this Thanksgiving so special? You gotta you gotta press yourself like that. Cause I'm still in my pajamas on Thanksgiving. Like I'm at we have it at home and then I'm just usually just hanging out with my dog and like just maybe I'll go outside and skateboard. But it's like yo what's up with what's up with you dressing up? Spicy chicken makes me sad about Taco Bueno. Rosas Cafe too. Oh shit! This is a pink Cadillac. This is a pink fucking limo. Yeah, she's a slut. Now you have the limo, Scorpion. That symbol of Western degeneration. Pick up the whore, Miss Stacy. Bitch, you know you want to be riding fabulous in this fucking pink limo too. You know you want to be in the fucking backseat with Satirical Rabbit. You already know that. So don't act like this is a fucking 
This is a symbol of fucking capitalist piggery or whatnot, bitch. I know your fucking type. Satirical Rabbit is the man of your dreams. I didn't get 10 feet of snow, um, a, a Ron. Um, the thing of it is, is that it's been very cold, but we didn't get snow yet. If there's a place that, that snows a lot, that's upstate New York. The city, not so much. So we didn't get snow, and usually we don't get snow until like December, and that's just a little. When the blizzard happens, is usually January or February. And I fucking hate January and February. Because it's, so, it's the coldest in, in winter. And I'm not a winter dude. I, I like to be in the sun. I like to be in the heat. I'm a lizard. Let me, wait, first off, let me take a look at this bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at what we have here. Miss Stacy. You know what? There's one problem with, with this. With, with this, you know, with this scene. There's a problem with the scene. That thong is not in my mouth. Yes, I fucking said it. Uh, Miss Stacy, where you going? Stacy's mom. Has, I bet you her mom has has it going on. Come in, Miss Stacy. Stacy's mom is. Ooh, yeah, in the front seat. Yeah. Hey there, sweet nurse. You my potato. Good. Hope you bought your taller. What the, what? Boom Boom is the most violent and disturbed guy I've ever dated. Hey, well, why, don't, why, why do you gotta date somebody like that, man? Why, why don't you date a guy that's gonna treat you real good? You know, he's not treating you right. Later, come spend the night. And I love you like the way you, you need to be loved. You know what's up? I'll be your Boom Boom shit. I'll give you that Boom Boom. What the fuck am I talking about? Baron! <laughs> oh, come on, guys. You know I'm just fucking joking. Come on. Come on! Oh, no. It's Boom Boom. He will kill us all. Please get me out of here. Oh, shit. This Boom Boom dude is... They call him Boom Boom for a reason. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Ah, she's on her own. Fuck. Miss Stacy, I failed you. You got a good amount. Do I walk to work? Uh, I walk to the, the bus stops and the train stations. So I don't walk, I don't have a specific, um, location i just go at where they need me i go and i service where i gotta go a woman refuses to travel in anything but a limo as much as it pains me scorpio you have to oblige her i thought you meant i had to oblige her in, in the ways that you know every man would want to oblige a woman i didn't think i had to be a fucking personal valet You got a good amount of snow and ice between Friday and yesterday. I mean, it's nice when you see it fall, but it is like after it falls, it's like a day later you want it to go away. Why the fuck are you shooting a new player later? Fucker. It don't send anybody. Don't call anyone. Oh yeah, you wanna fuck with me too, huh? Why the fuck are you a scrub hanging on the passenger side where your best friend rides and trying to holler at me? Get the fuck out of here. You guys are being fucking dicks now. Let me fucking ride my fucking... My pimp fucking limo. Let me ride that shit in peace. Alright? Oh, now you wanna fucking do it too, huh? Yo, fuck you. Fuck you too.
I, you know what, a, a Ron, my job isn't terrible, but the problem is, is that um, they've cut hours a lot. You know what I mean? So now I'm part time now, and it's not terrible. I get to travel, and I get, I, I don't get bitched at. I I feel like a sense of accomplishment when I service a store, but um, I don't get paid that much. I get paid like. A dollar or two above like a dollar above minimum wage and I don't have that many hours and I'm trying to find another job actually I like it but it's not paying me enough that I could live on my own and shit so I mean you have a job and you you just recently got out of um apprenticeship so I'm guessing that you you're getting paid well so at least you you could have money to be somewhat sufficient you know what I mean I have to save my money because I want to move out of my, um, not only my, my apartment, not apartment, well, the apartment I was raised in, because everybody, a lot of people live at home in New York City because it's expensive as fuck. But, um, I've, um, I'm trying to, I want to move out of the state as well because, like, I, I really don't want to be in New York City anymore. New York is, is is ass, so <laughs> you walk away from a few minutes. It sucked for last let me see, travel. It sucked for last night though, cause my town has an Xmas parade when I was heading over to my friend's place and Cab decided to drop me off eleven minutes from where I needed to be since they closed our street well you know minimum wage in texas is 775 minimum wage in new york city is 15 dollars i get paid like a little bit over i get paid 16 something the main streets you're still an apprentice right now, but I live in the middle of nowhere, so a couple of bucks above minimum works. I mean, at least you got you you could afford it. I mean, you have a roommate, but the only re you told me like the only reason why you have a roommate is because any other place that allows dogs is it's rare and it's expensive. It's located somewhere else, and you have a roommate because you know because you have a dog and shit because you have Nordy. And you shouldn't have to sacrifice Nordy. No, no, lady. Hey, Miss Stacy. Hey. What the fuck? You're different. What the fuck happened to you? What, you dressing more conservatively? You dressing like Britney Spears in 2002 or some shit? I like the other ensemble. Come on. What's up? Yeah, nobody pays that here. I mean, everything is cheaper in Texas, but you gotta understand, New York City is expensive and shit. And you, you hear me say that I get paid $16 an hour, and you guys jump for joy. But you gotta remember, I live in New York City. $16 an hour is basically minimum, it'll be the, the same exact thing in Texas, $750, $775. Because it, I, I you know, it's, it's expensive to fucking live in this place. Had to walk. I made 660. Ah, I'm my old job. You don't make that anymore. Oh no! It's Pum Pum! He will kill us all! Yeah. Please get me out of here! Oh shit, I, I narrowly missed that by a fucking ass hair. Go! I just killed Boom Boom. Oh shit, that was, Yo! I cheated death right now. That dude, that rocket was right there. A hairline away. And that fucking rocket would have fucking did me in. Now I'm gonna do them in. Let's get the fuck back. That was just fucking amazing. I had to walk. Alright. Are they chasing me? No. They're not chasing me. Better not chase me. Oh shit. You're gonna fucking die, bitch. I'm on the drop off. Yo, give me some. What the fuck? I'll be thinking of you. 
No, thank me some other way. I mean, you gotta thank me some other way. You're, you're a lady of the night. You're a lady of the night. Come and thank me the way that, you know, you need to thank me and shit. I don't know. Fuck. What the fuck is that? That'll come in handy. You made six fifty five at your last job. I gotta states have their own minimum. Yeah, that's true. And Roz, you saying that you had to walk slow to make sure you didn't fall carrying your painting supplies and had to cross the road in the middle of a parade. Damn, that sucks. Remember, I went to Coney Island back in June because I wanted to hang out there, and it was a Saturday. Well, in June, Coney Island has this thing called the Mermaid Parade, and I didn't know it was that day. So you see a whole bunch of people dressed out as mermaids, you know, women and degenerates. They're dressed as fucking mermaids, and um, they blocked the whole street. I just wanted to get a burger. Everything was fucking crowded, and I had to go all the way at the end of the blocks just to cross the fucking the street because they blocked off everything because, you know, we're having a parade, and then, like, some fucking... Some psychedelic looking fucking dude in a fucking mermaid costume. This psychedelic jackass and he was just licking at me and then he had his fingers in his mouth and then I'm just like, yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Don't look at me. So I had to fucking go and shit and I was like, yo, this was just a fucking waste because I didn't get a burger. I just went there just to fucking b rub elbows with people. And I was just like, damn, I'm hungry and I can't eat because everything is fucking blocked and crowded. Let me see. Taco Bell franchise start at 12. That's a lot for Texas, I guess. I'm not sure. You made 425 at your first job. They wouldn't buy... That wouldn't buy a can of Chef Boyardee now. Yeah, that's true. A can of Chef Boyardee is like fucking $5. I like the beefaroni. What Chef Boyardee cans you like? I like beefaroni. Um, 16 bucks anywhere in the country sucks, yeah. Cheaper depending on where you live, exactly. I mean, it would be comfortable, but then you gotta take into account inflation and like our sales tax is just abysmal. We have the highest sales tax in the fucking country. For no fucking reason. Like 825%, I don't know. She don't thank you without. Yo, I got cash. I'm, I'm. Yo, what the fuck? I saved a life, yo. She needs to fucking thank me. Like, what the fuck? Fuckers be mistreating Roz. Yeah, I know, man. Fuck them fuckers. Roz is the voice of reason. And you don't mistreat the voice of reason. Alright? Roz is our voice of reason. What the fuck are you? Get off your little fucking little tugboat, bitch. I had a cracked up guy yelling. You had a cracked up guy yelling at you even though you were on the other side of the street last night on your way to your friend's place. Thought he was trying to follow me at one point. Well, did this cracked up guy, did he apologize afterwards? Because I know like in Canada, you know, you guys apologize to each other while you're doing fucked up shit to one another because you guys are that polite. Did he say sorry? Roz needs to get a Glock and hold it sideways on these motherfuckers. Maybe so. Now nah, Roz is from Canada. From Canada. I, I was gonna say Canada. Roz is from Canada. She doesn't need to. She 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 cannot be corrupted with our American ways, our corruption, our degeneracy. One time you was mad, had no clue where you were going in the middle of the night. Thank God for Google Maps. Yep, Google Maps. They say sorry. Sorry when they they say sorry when they're stabbing you. Yeah, sorry. 
Hey, hey, Ron, since you're here, you notice that there's a dog on my back. Well, this is a photo of my first dog. He, um, he passed away 10 years ago, but I'm wearing this and kicking ass in his memory. So, let's see what else we have here. All right, what else can I do? I don't want to I don't want to find everything here. Oh, everybody, um if you guys don't know, Aaron, he recently became affiliated on Twitch. So that means for every ad that plays on his stream that interrupts his stream, he gets three cents like if he was uh, a little kid in a third world country working in a in a shoe factory because apparently that's what they think he's worth. Now, I feel that he's worth more than that, but you guys should check out A.A. Ron's Twitch. Watch when he streams so he could get more money. All right, guys, because we want to we want A.A. Ron to make it to the top. In fact, I want everybody to make it to the top, even BJ Rabbit. Yo, did yo he just killed all right. Yo, he just killed his friend for his bike. What the fuck? Oh no, he's a friend, I think. I don't, I don't even know. I'm everybody's topsy turvy here. The barbecue bean tenders. I would like to try them. Yo, satirical rabbit, he's here. Hey rabbit, what's up? It's been a while, bro. How you been? Been hard at work, hardly working, what a, whatever they call it. How you been, Rabbit, by the way? How's your weekend been? That's a fucking shame. You should have gotten ad money, bro. That's why I told everybody to um go to your Twitch so you could get ad revenue. You deserve it, bro. We need to get A.A. Ron some ad revenue. 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 Here we are. Thanks for flying air, Sheldon. <laughs> BJ, you don't get a, you don't get paid if you get a thousand subscribers. I'm sorry, BJ, but I, I hate to put a rain on your parade or some shit, but look at that. I don't think you get paid a thousand because, I mean, you don't get paid for a thousand people. I don't think so. I think you have to make a partnership with YouTube and get consistent traffic. And then with that being said, you get consistent traffic and, um, you know, what? it's better that you get sponsored by third party. If you're on YouTube. Like, some of these YouTubers that I watch, like Justin Wang, because I fucking love Justin Wang. He does a lot of raunchy shit, like a raunchy stories and shit. It's shit that YouTube will never allow to get monetized. So he has sponsorships with third-party companies. And, you know, they seem legit for him. They, that's how he gets paid. Be right back. Okay, you have to have 4,000 hours, ah, oh, Lily, she's coughing, and you have to be approved by the YouTube Partnership Program. Yeah, well, you know what, BJ, let's be realistic. 
I would never be partnered with YouTube because of my content. I curse a lot. I, you know, I don't filter myself. I, I don't censor myself. So YouTube will not want somebody like me. But I would like to win a, a silver play button. And um, I'd like to win one of those. Like legitimately. Because I'd like to have something to win. To show that, you know what, my hard work pay off. You know, something that, you know, I'm, I'm good at doing. Like creativity. I'd like to have a, you know... That, that acknowledgement. It's always good to have that acknowledgement. But I don't think any of us would be ever partnered if we were to like... If we were to like get popular off of doing the streaming shit. None of us are gonna get popular because um... For the plain fact of the matter is none of us are wholesome family oriented streamers. Like we would have to like get partnered from a third party company. Like, we would have to, like, hawk merchandise for somebody else in order to be partnered with YouTube. Mind if I borrow this? You're a loser, Rabbit? You're not a loser, bro. You gonna be busy this week? Uh, alright. Well, a lot of work, right? I was looking forward to you streaming. I hope you got the power bank and the, you know, and the ethernet cable, dude. I was hoping you did. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a minute. You got the fucking missiles? I want missiles. I want missiles. This helicopter, cool. Yo, you were saying you want me to die? What? Yeah, exactly. I thought so, bitch. Request for air support granted. I forgot that Eminem song. I'm a loser. I never heard of that. It'd be cool for sure. All right, BJ writes it'd be cool for sure, but it doesn't seem to hold as much shine as it used to, and I'm probably the most wholesome out of all. You know what, BJ is the most wholesome out of all of us. He's like the more family friendly. And I'm pretty sure because he doesn't censor his language. And he has his own beliefs on certain things. He's, he's just, um, he wouldn't qualify. Yeah, work has been taking more of your time. I understand, Robert. Your work comes first. Yeah, I forgot that song. I'm sorry, guys. I I, I totally forgot that song. Uh, should I do more? Yeah, I should do more missions for the faction. Uh, how about you guys drive me over there? Because I don't want to drive five kilometers. Could help me by fucking taking me to where I need to go exactly, dude. Come on, dude. Dude. Here we are. Thanks for flying air shielding. <laughs> oh yeah, rabbit. I I actually, I actually was singing for for Raz's mom. I, I sang a song in the most abysmal way possible. I sang a song for Raz's mom, and Raz's mom enjoyed it, and um, Raz was just, she she was dying of laughter, it was really funny, when I'm making an ass out of myself. That has to be like a like a highlight. 
I don't make stream highlights, but maybe I should be making them. And then maybe I should put that shit on TikTok. I don't know. And see how, how much I... Because I, I like to experiment with shit. I like, I like to see what fucking... What would draw them in. I mean, this is like a Far Cry meets... Um, Grand Theft Auto. This is what I feel that it... it this is what Far... Um, not Far Cry. This is what uh, I feel that just causes Far Cry meets Grand Theft Auto. Let me get two guns. No, you don't. You got shit. Ooh, come here, Mr. Lawman. Let's get acquainted. Oi. Oi. Thank you. Oh, it's so good. Oh fuck you. Hey, Scorpio! Yo, there's a fucking big ass scorpion. Where the fuck did you come from, you son of a bitch? Get out of here. Oh, I killed the scorpion. Yeah, TikTok is dumb, BJ, but um, you know it's kind of necessary to 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 grow. And um, I hate TikTok. I don't even spend time on TikTok. But I, I have a TikTok for my other channel, Viper Neon Gaming. I have a I have a TikTok for that channel, and I, I gain subscribers and shit from that. But nobody coming on YouTube. All right, so let me let me do a faction mission. Hey, the eh, fuck your cavalry. You guys could take it from here. Got the little jeep. My little jeep, my beep jeep, my beep jeep. My car. That's what my nephew says. He's like, my car. No, 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 no. I want a fucking real car right now. I am a tough guy. I'm tougher than you. I got my fucking Pomeranian on my back. My first dog. We kick ass. We take names. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hi, kids. You like violins? You want me to just, you want to see me stick nine inch nails in each one of my eyelids? Oh, those were friends. I'm sorry. Oh, let me get a fucking monster truck, bro. How can I help you, hombre? You're a fucking monster truck right now, bitch. You bitch? You kidding me, bitch? Who the fuck is this Garrett Traveler Z? Nah, we need this, this, this fucking hussy right here. Yeah. Yeah. Try not to break it now. You hate re-watching your streams. I re-watch my streams at certain segments just to hear how I fucking sound. Where's my fucking monster truck? Oi, um, um, okay, I spent money on a monster truck. I don't have my monster truck. Where's my monster truck, please? Did I buy a monster truck? Yes, I did. Fuck. Yo, I ordered a monster truck. It's not even fucking here. What, are, what kind of people? What kind of business are you running? Now I gotta order this bitch again. Yo, bitch, you took my money. You didn't give me my monster truck. What the fuck is wrong with you? Look, I wasted good money on this shit. Come on, dude. I could tell you I do rewatch my streams to see how I sound, to see the levels, and to see what kind of shit that I say because sometimes I don't realize the shit that I say. And um, you know what? You always want to critique your shit so you could do it better next time and shit. 
like to see how you sound, to see how like you know how you can better sound and whatnot. That's the only reason why. We got the positive. Send back up. I got the master trick. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Like I do it. I do it. So. Oh, the the friends. I'm sorry. The friends. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, help me guys, help me, help me please. Help me please, help me, help me please. Like, um, you know what, like I said this before yesterday, I think that all of us, like the, the guys that stream and whatnot, I encourage everybody to like, you know, do creative shit, everybody, but I think that maybe if you want to get more viewers, you got to have to utilize all this TikTok shit, TikTok, TikTok, whatever. And I've been thinking of making one for this channel, actually, because I made it for my other channel that, that I just experiment on and I just, like, do shit just for the fuck of it. So I don't know. But that would be cool if all of us, like, we made money off of this shit. That would be cool. But, you know what? I don't, I don't really think about that because, like I stated yesterday... It's a fucking grind, and um, I do it for, you know, just to make people laugh. <clears throat> oh shit, no, don't fucking die on me. I need this truck, yeah. Oh shit. You've been thinking about wait hold on. Let me let me wait for it to pop up. So you say that you've been thinking about doing a TikTok and a Twitter, even though Twitter might die? Well, I mean, if not, you could do a Facebook. They do have Facebook gaming. My brother-in-law, he streams on Facebook gaming. But, um... You know what? Maybe a TikTok. But you know what, AA Ron? I think you should make a YouTube channel. Like, you should just take your old streams and you should upload it to YouTube. I made like little clips and shit. I think you should do that, dude. Like I was thinking about creating a Twitch, like like you know, st no, I already have a Twitch, but um, you know, when I go see you guys, but it's like I was thinking of using Twitch and then streaming on that in the weekdays, and then in the weekends I I come on YouTube. Because I could stream at two places, three at once. Because I've done it before. But the thing is, you have to pay for that for Streamlabs. And I'm not going to pay for something that I'm not getting any revenue on. A mission for you, comrade. 
There is an army colonel by the name of Chen. He has taken it upon himself to crush our revolutionary force. We cannot allow this imperialist pig to pervert our cause. Please, help us, comrade. That Don't get too close, or he will get away. Better to snipe him from afar. Well, you know what, AA1? I think that uh, I'm thinking of it like this. If you just want to stream just to like because you like streaming. You don't have to go like you don't have to put yourself out there like that because your goal is just to stream because you like it and because you want to entertain the people that come on. But if you want to grow, you're going to have to dedicate some time to it like, you know, everything else. So that's just what it is, dude. Let me blow this gas tank up. Okay, move in! Got him! I mean, I work part-time because they cut my hours and I had a store that recently closed. So that's even more. But, um, I could dedicate time to it, but it's just tedious, and I don't know if I really would. Look at the T-pose. This guy glitched out. He's just doing a T-pose. He's standing in a desert, standing in a T-pose. I think he's trying to reenact the crucifixion or some shit. But whatever. Yo, can you move out of my way? Alright, cool. Thank you, guy. Fuck. Yo, he's gonna be there forever, bro. Oh, now you move. Now you move. I think you should go, buddy. I think you should, like, run. Now you're not gonna run. And there he goes. His own worst critic. Yeah, that shit is a grind. And BJ, I hope you understand that, like, you know, that's a grind too, so... That's not a glitch, what is it? Hostiles in a sector. All units intercept. I gotta do a sniping position right here. Now kill that pig Colonel Chen. Show no mercy. Well, where's that pig Colonel Chen? Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Can I do a close up? How the fuck was I supposed that this this fucking thing doesn't even reach that far? What the hell? Excellent Scorpio. The thought of him choking on his own blood makes me quiver with joy. Oh. This is a naughty guy. It's not a glitch. I bet it's not. I gotta put in... I hate the fact that YouTube does this shit. Like, if I have a playlist running, why would you pause the fucking video? Don't do that shit. I need music. I don't even notice that. New black item. Ah, alright, the shotgun, yeah. The Garrett Traveler, ha ha ha. I'm gonna go to, um... Faction mission, all right. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit, boy. Okay, move in.
So what's up guys? Talk to me. Talk to me. Can I knock that shit down? What's it's not a glitch. It's not a glitch. It's a little fatalist. No, I don't request the answer, bro. I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy. You're going around from what? Is that doing something? You eating dinner right now? Oh, well, that's cool. That's cute. Fuck. Hey Roz, what are you eating, by the way? I think we all would like to know. I would like to eat some food now. Poutine for dinner. Not a mere poutine. She's eating poutine. What is poutine? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I've lost him. Flank him. He's here. Come on. She's eating poutine. I never heard of poutine. I mean, I heard of it, but it's like I never, I never knew what it was. I'm, I'm that on culture. <clears throat> what is? Do you guys like craft dinner? Like, I mean, I used to hear that, like, in that show South Park. Like the Canadians would be like, let's eat some craft dinner. I'm just sorry. <laughs> it's fries covered in gravy with cheese curds melted. Oh, that shit sounds delicious. What the fuck? That that actually sounds good. What the fuck? I want some poutine. Poutine? Did you make it or like your mom made it or like is it like some microwave shit that you got? 
It's french fries, cheese curds, and some kind of meat. Oh, that's, that sounds delicious, yo. I'm not gonna lie about that. Let's finish this! Oh, yeah, let's finish this. You've had vegetarian poutine. Alright. I mean, it does sound delicious. I'm not gonna lie about that. Like, I, I would try some of that. Oh, your mom made it. Oh, all right, cool. That's cool. She made poutine. Is it? Do I pronounce it right? Is it poutine or poutine or whatever, or palpatine or whatever? Like, am I pronouncing it right? I hope I'm not butchering it. Ah, uh, this is the ship mobile. This is Carl's ship mobile. That sounds good, bro. That sounds really good. Poutine. Ooh. It's Poutine. Vladimir Poutine. Ah, oh, shit. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Uh, okay. I'm stuck. Uh, maybe I can't get out of here. All right, I glitched into the thing. How can I help you, <laughs> That's how you beat the system. All right, so I got it right. All right, cool. I beat the system. Here we are. Thanks. <laughs> That's how you beat the system. I glitched into the thing. I was about to die, and I just called for help. Got it right, poutine. All right. So, what are you guys up to, like this Saturday, this Sunday? I wish it was Saturday, but we gotta go back to work. What are you guys up to, guys? Poutine. I have six people here. I wonder who there's there's lurkers here. I know that much. Rose, if you're lurking, you don't have to lurk anymore. I know you're watching, Rose. I know you're watching. Come on, Rose. Come on, Rose. We miss you, Rose. I don't know that she's here. I just you know hey. You're lazily cleaning while you watch. Like, so what do you mean you're lazily cleaning? Like, like you just like spit shining this, certain things. Like, oh yeah, this is clean. Like, do you clean your toilet by like, like pissing hard into the toilet bowl and pissing around like stains and shit like that? Do you do that, Aaron? I think you're the type of person that does shit like that. I don't know why. Look at this, this is an airport, yeah. What the hell? Another Who doesn't in the do that? <laughs> we need to destroy Rose, one of baby Bunny's offshore platforms. Are you with us? The black gold, Texas team. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll that. Oh yeah, get a fuck. Lily! I love you, baby girl! Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly in the danger zone. 
It's the danger zone. Yo, don't freeze on me, okay? Danger zone. I can't fucking do it. Oh, what game can I fly? A fucking a jet fighter, a Harrier jet. Oh yeah, we're flying danger zone. <laughs> Hold on. All right, we're still playing. If he doesn't do that, I don't do that. Fucking Avon. I actually clean the fucking bowl with a brush. I don't even know what the fuck I'm shooting. Oh, I gotta destroy the crane. Oh, okay. Alert! Reports of hostile in the area. All the available units respond. Oh shit! They got fucking missiles on that bitch. Oh no 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 no! Ooh, so fucking close. Every few months. Ah. Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> I failed you, Lily. I failed you. Biannual. Oh. You got some fucking creatures growing in that bowl, bro. It's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's really, really disgust. Yo, get the fuck out of my way, bitch. Get the fuck out of my way. No! Danger zone! Fuck. Oh, what is this shit? Yo, is this a legit thing? Oh, this thing is cool. This thing is a fucking beast. Like a fucking futuristic bitch. Look at this shit. This is a Power Ranger. Go up! Go up! Danger sound! Fuck. Shit. Well, I was never meant to fly. Alright, I gotta do this again. No, no more joking around. No more jacking around. But I want this jet. This jet is like more sleek, more aerodynamic. Hey, 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 hey! Don't, don't say that, Iran. Don't fucking say that. All right? I'm from New York City. I was born and raised here. Don't, don't, don't fucking say that, Iran. It's the danger zone. The thing sucks at fucking. The thing is bad at handling, man. I gotta do this again. Yeah, let's do this shit. Fuck your courtesy. Joe to see, fuck. Nah, I'm not fucking around. Ah, he's just smashed in the fucking face.
All right, let's try this again. Yay! Fly me to the moon! Woo! Go, go up, go up, you bitch. Come on, take off! I'm pressing the... You cocksucker. Oh, that's one way to get to the fucking sky. All right. There we go. Yeah, brother, we're flying with style. Look at that sleek. That's slack. Roz, what are you doing besides eating? What, what are you going to be doing today? You're going to be painting more? BJ, rabbit. Come on, guys, speak up. Don't you fucking launch anything at me, bitch. I'm a ballerina in the sky, bitch. Hey, you can't do that shit to me. Air defense is danger zone. I'm flying, guys. I'm flying. Yay. I'm like a fucking little kid right now. Yay, guys. I'm flying. I'm fucking flying. I thought I was going to fucking die. Oh, is there a fucking jet fighting? Like, like he's trying to get at me or some shit? Oh my god! Iceberg, right ahead! This is not the Titanic. How can there be an iceberg in the in the goddamn sky? It's a skyberg, and it's right ahead. Titanic, Celine Dion. What the fuck am I saying? Oh shit. I see that bitch. You need to put your painting stuff away tonight and get your laundry finished. Alright, cool. Oh my god, he's coming in for that basic attack! Oh, no, 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 I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm being shot at too, that's a funny thing. Is there another plane in the sky that's trying to, we're gonna have like a fucking dog fight? Why did they ever call it a dog fight if planes are like more reminiscent of birds? Because you know, birds fly, dogs don't fly. But why do they call it dog fight? Oh no! Oh Houston, we have a problem! Ew! I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just putting random shit. Oh Houston! Hey, we have a problem. There's an iceberg flying and shooting us. What the fuck are you talking about? There's an iceberg right here! Hold on! Hold on your knickers, baby! Oh blah 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 blah! Fuck! Shit. I should just stop talking shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I get into some fucking kind of element. Let's do this yet again. I. <laughs> Oh no, no, mommy! I'm taking the trees with me! <laughs> He's saying, why would a British person call Houston? I have no fucking clue. That's just the first name that came up to my mind when I'm flying and shit. 
It would be like a Worcestershire. We we have, yeah, maybe. Lon, Big Ben, we have a problem. We have a a little snafu. Let me put on my Scottish accent. Oi! Oh, my name is Seamus McManus. I'm flying this plane. I'm going to be watching God of War Ragnarok by BJ Blaskovich Gaming. You know who I'm talking about. You do. And I release there can be only one. The Scottish Highlands calls me my brethren, my clan. <laughs> I don't even fucking know, bro. Hey, if it was a Scottish person in space, who do they fucking call? In a wee bit of a pickle, I reckon. Yeah, you see, I, I fucking read that. I read that quick. I do it for the glory of the Pomeranian. I do it for the glory of the Haggis. My man is Shaner's McManus. Oh! Yeah, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Let me do it in my pimp accent. What up, everybody? This is the real man, the real Mac Dad, Daddy Mac, smoking local in this bitch. I'm a three foot four pimp from Minnesota. Let's go! Oh, y'all motherfuckers can't get me smoking Lozo, smoking Lizzo, smoking the Slim, smoking the true pimp player. Coming out in my motherfucking Harrier jet that my bitches done pay for. Oh, shit. Gonna come up here and unleash the cracking on this motherfucker. Ooh. -wee. Oh, one more gander right now, bitch. I'm about to run these to payload. The fucking swamps of Dago Buff, bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Crazy logs. Bone thugs in harmony. Bone thugs. Ooh. You think I'm playing around, bitch? Bitch. I'll blow up your offshore rig right now from Pinal, bitch. Ooh. Fred, that soldier boy. Ooh, I don't even know what I'm fucking saying. I'm a three foot four pimp from Minnesota, First Avenue. What's up, AA Rizzo? For shizzle. I got that bitch with no fucking legs. Her name is Stumpy. You know, I got Granny born in 1922. She give you a good gum job. What's up, AA Rizzo? What's up, fam? Oh, shit! I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to fucking destroy this shit. Yo, if, am I actually doing fucking damage? Oh no! Smokey! And I'm gonna miss everybody. And I'm gonna miss everybody. And I'm gonna miss everybody. Alright, it looks like my, my strategy is not really working out the way I planned. Yo, get off the fucking tarmac, you piece of shit. Oh, nah, get off the tarmac, bitch. No! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they're not happy about this. You did a, a thousand piece puzzle of First Ave. Oh, that's cool. Have you ever been to First Ave? Yeah, you should go start your car. It hasn't started since Friday. Yeah, you should go start it. Like, I'm taking this tree with me. Because I know it could get cold over there in Minnesota. You know what? I'm not going to try to like fly over it. It's going to be like too time consuming. I'm going to try to do some damage, but I'm going to like fucking... 
I'm gonna fucking like do some damage to both of them and then I'm gonna hop off and I'm gonna try to destroy like from the inside out. There's like four different venues. Alright, cool. Was it cool? Like, what's up? I didn't even do shit. I didn't even fucking do shit to anything. I'm gonna crash this son of a bitch right now, bitch! Oh! Ooh. That's how we fucking do it. Then there are more venues like it, but it's it's fine. All right, cool. Oh, okay. You guys didn't. Oh, all right. This is this is just fucking fabulous. Oh fuck. metal slug up in this bitch flank him yeah what well he said flank him flank him ooh right now yes you can't get a shot believe in yourself believe it or not I'm walking up air oh shit oh shit fuck I'm dying now. I'm bleeding. I'm burning now. Oh god. I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh shit. There's too much of you guys here. I'm gonna die. Fuck. No. Alright, let me do this again. Shake it to the left. Shake it to the right. Oh yeah. Let me rob him of his jet. Okay, Give me your two. <laughs> He's just pissed. He's like, hey! Nah, you already in motion. I need a, I need the shit. What did you see when you were there in First Avenue in one of the venues? Oh, but I like the way you got the motion. Rock the boat, don't hit the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Rock the boat. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm a fucking clown, guys. I'm sorry. Fuck! Don't let me get away! Let me get away! What the fuck? Ooh! Boof. Move out, move 
Oh shit! That's how he says it. He's like, hey! Did I? I didn't even do a damn thing to this. Hey! Like, ha 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 ha! I don't even know, man. Was everybody? Yeah, leave me alone. Yo, what's with this commotion out there? Hold on. Oh, okay. I don't. You don't gotta send back up. I mean, I'm just a swell guy. You slept at, you slept at three and you woke up at nine. I, you know what's the funny thing? I, I didn't, I couldn't fall asleep. Like, I fell asleep. I was gonna go to sleep, but I couldn't fall asleep. And I was trying my best, and I didn't fall asleep until that time period too. So that's 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 kind of something. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. We need. AMs and PMs. Six. I need that CBD. You think I need the CBD? Let me tell you something. The times I've engaged in the tetrahydrocannabinol, I um I always go loopier than I am. So I don't think that me and that particular Oh shit. I don't think that me and that particular uh substance would do good because I've proven time and time again that uh, I get a little loopy with it and um, unfortunately it was never meant to be yo but dude tell me what I need to do to destroy this bitch so what do I need to do this what's up I'm 
I know I did a lot of damage with it. I'm an HK aerial. I'm a hunter killer drone. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, I'm riddling it. I, I don't know if I'm doing it right. It helps you with sleep, but always make sure you get the good quality stuff from a good company. I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't know what, what, what good quality shit would be. Honestly, I don't, because I don't partake in shit like that. I'm a filthy motherfucker, but I'm fucking straight laced. That's what it is, dude. Oh, no! I don't even know what to do in this fucking thing. Dirty little bastard. C B D doesn't get you uh inebriated. And what's the fucking point? Like I mean that's the point of it, dude. Why? Why not? You woke up yesterday at nine, damn rabbit. Nine what, nine in the morning or nine o'clock at night? A funny story, I was, um, a couple years ago, I was outside with my cousins in the Bronx, and we were going to the nearest Wendy's, and then there was this drunk guy who passed us by, and then he told us, he's like, you see, the world is ending now, the world is ending, because you know why? It's 10 o'clock, and it's already, and it's still dark. It was 10 o'clock at night, that's how drunk the guy was. You need a crack rock. I don't think you need that, Rabbit. <laughs> if you if you were to do crack, I'm sorry, Rabbit. That would be the stupidest thing you ever did. Fucking crack. I have, you haven't really struggled to sleep like you did before. One gift BD gave me. The point is, oh she, oh so BD is into that CBD shit too, huh? You about to head home? Seventeen hours, shit. The six hours, crack is gangster. Crack is whack. That's the old saying. Whoa, what was that? Yo, but crack is whack, though. I think I made a mistake here. I think I should have, like, you. I don't know how to take this shit down. I didn't even think that you could destroy something like this. Oh, you heard from Rose? Oh, uh, how's she doing? Cause I mean, she said that she may come back, but um, yeah, that was last time. That was like a month ago she said that. But how's she doing, by the way? Did you let her know that she have a like she has a safe space for for like? Let her know that she's safe in our streams, dude. Just let her know that, cause she's very kind and sweet. All right, what do I got to do here? I don't know what the fuck do I have to do? How do I destroy this place? Let me, let me checkpoint this shit. You did some cool stuff. What did you do, AA Ron? What kind of cool stuff did you do? Okay, move in. We got him. You do... You gonna do CBD gummies with Aaron? Go right ahead, be his guest. 
for the quickest of I, I will never vape anything again. Vaping fucked me up one time. She was, I don't think she messes with anyone with it anymore because her body becomes accustomed to stuff. All right, you're talking about BD, all right. Is BD okay? I mean, it's been a while, dude. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna ask that. You're gonna tell me the same thing. All right, I hope she's doing fine. Um, you told her that Yeah, you, yeah, we do miss her. She was like the beacon. Uh, Rose is the beacon. She was a beacon. She was like a positive person. And it sucks that she had to leave because of um, certain individuals that decided to um, take her kindness for granted and actually fucking harass her. And that piece of shit, those pieces of shit are no longer with us in um in the streams and shit and we prefer them not to be there and one of them was a fucking weirdo because when he found out that i could rap this fucker all of a sudden he wanted to rap and then he made a video and then he was he shouted me out and i'm like all right but all of a sudden he wanted to fucking rap he wanted to copy me just like when i used to rap and i was like yo bro this, this is kind of fucking creepy and it turned out that he was a fucking creep You ate fungus. You need THC if you're gonna finish a hundred no, chicken strips. It, yeah, those damn tr yeah, they're pieces of shit. Those guys, the, those pieces of shit. They weren't trolls because I know when somebody's trolling, they weren't trolls. They were genuinely fucking crazy ass fucking people. They were harassers. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Hold on. Yeah, it was not fair that she had a fucking leave because those people kept coming around and fucking harassing. Like, they kept harassing her and shit, and it's like, dude. Like, what? She's easily the, 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 the sweetest, hands down, Rose was easily the sweetest person in the streams. The queen of emojis. And she had a fucking leave because those fucking assholes, man. Fuck those guys. They, they really did a number on her, and I don't fucking blame her, because I was in a situation more or less the same. One of them is, share the video, and we will troll him. Nah. Let me see, hold on. I'm not even fucking paying attention to the game. One of them is still on Shaman's... It's the reason Shaman had too many damn weirdos. Shaman attracted a lot of weirdos, I would say. It, that, that's that's also a reason why I stayed away. I didn't fraternize. I've I've come across them too. Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do in this shit? I think it's a damn shame when you get those people in. When you get those people in, it's a fucking shame. Yeah, she was super nice. You banned a dude in Shaman's Discord for posting piss drugs and he cried to Shaman. And he, um, yeah, that's the thing, alright? With Shaman at the time, he was like really too lenient. I remember the Discord and I was there for a little while. And I decided to not fuck. Fuck this piece of shit. How am I supposed to destroy this shit? This shit is like a fucking monolith. How do you destroy this shit? Yeah, that's the thing that I remember the Discord and Shaman's Discord became toxic. I knew that I didn't want to be a part of it. Because I was a part of a lot of things in Shaman's um, community. Because I was very active. We were all mods there. But Shaman's Discord was fucking toxic as fuck. Right? And it's like, I, I hung, I went on the chat like twice. And I was like, I can't be associated with these people. Because they were all bitching, talking like all this strange shit. And um, like all this gross shit. And Shaman would be lenient to, to like a lot of people. Which I didn't understand why. 
and all the your shaman um this thing is happening this person is like violating a lot of shit harassing people and he's like oh no he's cool and i'm like uh, i don't know bro like i don't know it's a critique of the streams yeah Hey, Aaron betrayed you? Oh, damn. Hey, Aaron, why you betrayed him? I mean, like I said yesterday, like, Shaman, when he first started, it was like a nice little thing that we had. And it was like, we, we were just friendly, we were cool. But I knew some shit would happen. I knew that, like, with, with growth comes, like, a, an assortment of people that are fucking toxic. And Shaman was, like, no stranger to them. There's a lot of pieces of shit on Shamans. So... A lot of fucking weirdos and shit. And that's the, that's the thing that put me off. Is like, it put me off, but like I still hung around. But when Shaman changed like the format, it was just like, uh, like how many times can I watch the South go hold it down, two ton Jackie? How many times can I go, and then it's like, oh, it's always a Cyrax stream. Why do we need to bother with that fucking piece of shit? Like, really. I don't even know if I'm doing fucking damage. I don't even know if I'm doing fucking damage. What the fuck? I was a part of the the twenty seven, the twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen, and the early twenty eighteen. Because we like us, the mods at the time, we were smaller. And like Hachi said, because Hachi was there back then, that we got as much love as Shaman did. Like we were um, also like, we also got the love that Shaman got at the same time. So that's, that's the cool thing about it. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing to be honest. I'm trying to fucking juke this missile. I took out the sand turret. Missile locked on target. You the one who shared him that gave him the south ball hold it down? I mean, I don't have a problem with the video. I, I I liked it, but it's like when you gotta play it like 500 times on stream, dude, like every fucking night. And then two ton Jackie, like it loses its zip, bro. It's not you, it was Shaman that I was always playing it. I miss the old Lockjaw, honestly. That place was fun to be a part of. This new Lockjaw is like, uh. I was there yesterday, actually, just to say what's up. I, I from time to time I go there. Enemy sighted. All available units advance. Yeah, it was like it's constant Chris Chan shit and it's constant Cyrax and it's like uh, I don't I don't give a shit about Chris Chan. Chris Chan's a piece of fucking shit. I don't know how to destroy this place. I don't. I I just don't know how to destroy it. Like I'm shooting everything I can. Like I mean, it, it's all fun and shit, but it's like when you gotta do Chris Chan like every fucking night. It's it's just dumb. And you know what? It's not like. You know, we're not part of the stream like that anymore. So if I go there, like I went there last night, only a few people recognize me. But everybody else doesn't give a shit about me, right? And that's okay. And the only way that the shaman like listens to you, like most of, most of the time, the only way he listens is if you, if you send him a super chat, like if you pay for super chat and then he'll acknowledge you. And um, I understand that, that's his business. 
So he can't um he can't give fa um favoritism like that. To request the Chris Chan twerking video, Aaron. Why? Fucking why? Why the fuck would you do that, dude? That shit was fucking disturbing, dude. That was disgusting. Mind if I borrow this? Yeah, I do, man. That was fucking disgusting, dude. Very few people you know on shaman streams, yeah. I don't know if you were part of Shaman Streams back then, Ross, like when he first got it up and running like in 2017 and 2018, but it was something to behold. I don't even think I'm doing any progress. I don't even know what the fuck I have to do. It says I need to destroy this place. I'm fucking destroying it. You are Lockjaw OG? No, 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 Rabbit. BJ, me, BJ and me, and Kimmy, Kimmy, Coco Pop, we're OG Lockjaw. Nah, Rabbit could be considered OG though. Because he was there like around the time I was like, I, I stopped going. So that was a long time ago. The South can hold it down. The South can hold it down. The South can hold it down. That was fucking legendary. The South can hold it down. The South can hold it down, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. The South can hold it down. But now I'm gonna hold it down, baby. Come on, Billy Ray Cyrus featuring the song. The South can hold it down. Miley Cyrus can't make me money. I can't profit off my daughter. Lil Nas X Country Bro. Shout gon' hold it down, baby, oh, country boy. Oh. All right, I don't know how to fucking do damage to this shit. Let me let me check. Let me let me check this. Hold on. Yeah, because I don't know how to fucking destroy it. You OG, you keep it on 55th Street. Yeah, the incels did fuck it up, man. The incels, they were just... I was talking about it too because... I remember when Bay Shaman used to do like videos on like mass shooters and what made them do it. It was never to worship or glorify what they did. It was just to understand. And then you like... Elliot Roger, you know, the Columbine kids. And you get all these fucking little bitches that worshipped Elliot Roger and then they were always fighting with people like, Elliot Roger just did what he had to do because he was pushed. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. We used to kick them out. But Shaman used to fuck with them, right? There was one particular person who had a channel who worshipped Elliot Roger and it was this one chick. Not Elliot Rogers' wife. Not the, the the chick that proclaimed herself to be Elliot Rogers' wife. It was somebody else. It was some chick, right? Her name was EGS Aria. And EGS stands for Ember's Ghost Squad. And that's the little imaginary gay group that fucking Randy Stare, aka Andrew... What was it? Andrew Blaze? Yeah, that was his uh, alias. 
the guy who who did the shooting who was obsessed with that chick ember from um yeah yeah yo the elliot rogers simp she was hot she was like this hottie blonde but yeah but she was like oh i'm elliot rogers wife but th this chick egs aria so ember's ghost squad was something that randy stair made up because he's a little bitch because he was like jerking off to um ember from danny phantom and he wanted to be a girl too it doesn't make sense so egs aria was like a worshiper she had a, a like a channel and she used to get mad every time shaman would make videos on you know on um elliot roger i mean not um randy stair so every stream every video she would comment negatively and then one time um she was on stream and this was the funniest shit and she could and then she just came criticizing shaman and shit and the shaman is like egs aria i was waiting for you to come on stream because i wrote you this song and then he puts on like some like pop punk like melody and it was like like some shit and then shaman starts singing he's like egs aria ambush go squad i love you egs aria come fucking love you like he just went off and then that was the most funniest shit in the in the world and he was just cutting ass on her in that song because she always would come and start doing negative shit and shaman would fucking troll her by just just doing what he does best and it was the funniest shit you gotta walk the dog and shower and stuff but you're gonna try to keep listening all right cool hey ron give a pat on the head for nordy for me will ya Kenny was actually a huge problem too. Yo, I remember like we were playing that game with that Kenny dude and um like a couple weeks ago, A Aaron, Sneaky, I think Mali, I think um Moth Mommy. I don't know, but it was that funny game, right? Fuck this song. I hate this song. And I'm not probably just you know what fuck this I I'm kinda tired of playing. But I I just wanna chill with you guys. Let me do a chill thing with you. All right, so basically, what had happened was this: is that um, he he entered the the, the call and then he just kept talking and talking and talking and talking, and then Aaron was like, "Fuck this!" and he just kicked him off, and then he was just like spamming in Aaron's stream, like, "Oh, you don't like me?" Yeah. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Can you stream while you're in the shower? Who? A. A. Ron? Flesh refused to ban him even when he was sexually harassing people. You mean Flesh Mincer from the Discord from Base Shamans? Yo, Flesh Mincer, what the fuck did he ever do? Like, I don't know, man. I know that he was a, a mod on the Discord, but he let a lot of shit slide. And it's like, dude, do your fucking job, bro. yeah but going back to that um you going back to that elliot rogers wife chick yeah she, shit man she was hot the egs area you had beef with eg with the egs the embers go i they didn't like me they didn't like me because I remember that um, they they also had like a little community, the EGS. They they had a community and they they were they despised shaman, and I looked into it, and then they will always talk shit about shaman. But I remember they name dropped me, one time, and then there was like oh this Baron of Anarchy he's probably shaman's right hand man, which was completely false i was not shaman's right hand man like shaman i was just a mod at, I, I became a mod and you know i try to keep it chill me and shaman never really spoke off stream maybe like one or two times but it was very brief it was not like a, a conversation me and shaman were not friends and it was not because of personality differences or whatnot 
It's just that I understood that there was a fucking line that you don't pass by. And let me put some cool shit other than... Let me, let me put a lava line. I put something trippy for you guys. Does this go in 4K? No? Oh, you want to be a bitch, right? So I'm going to put lava lamp. I'm tired of that green shit. And purple. Nah, I don't like that ambient shit. Fuck it. So anyways, um, they, they, they were talking about me in their shit. And then they were like, oh, this Baron fella, he's, he's, he's always on Shaman's dick. He's his right hand man. And I felt like making an account and telling them to go fuck themselves. But I was just like laughing. I'm like, you guys are taking this shit too seriously. They hated my guts. EGS hated my guts too. And I did nothing to them but laugh at them. They hated everybody who was like affiliated with Shaman. You know, and since Shaman would give us the rec the recognition and we got as much love in the in the streams as Shaman did. We we also got the hate. And I thought that was funny. They were really spying on me too. Like they they were on my channel and then like they screenshotted my channel. And then they were like, oh, he does, he does fan-made music videos and other shit. He has no value. I don't know. But they screenshotted it. And I'm just thinking to myself, dude, I'm just a regular guy. Because at that time, I had those videos, Rabbit, the ones I gave you. And I wasn't streaming. I was just participating. And I'm like, yo, these guys are going in fucking hard. I'm a nobody. Why the fuck is this happening? Like, we had beef with the EGS, with the Andrews, um, uh, the Embers Ghost Squad. And then I had that, I had that tussle with, um, fucking Marshall Mathers IV as well. You almost pulled a drive-by at Andrews' house, real talk. Real 55. 55 Crib. The guy who used to don't troll donate the same video of you. I don't remember that. See, Rabbit, by, two, by 2019... I went back for a little while, but that was like around this time, three years ago, right? But I wasn't really on Shaman stream like that. I, I just went back for a little while. Somebody accused Flesh once on chat that he's a creeper. Was he a creeper? Some motivated video. I don't remember, dude. You have absolutely no patience left for Kenny. Well, like, I, I asked you this a month ago, A.A. Ron. It's your community. You could choose you could choose who's, who's a part of it, and you could choose who to let go. So if that's the case, I understand that there's people that like him, but if he really fucking bothers you, I think maybe it's in your best interest if you part ways. Because I don't know Kenny personally. I just know him from that one moment. And he was like really insistent and he would not shut up and he was kind of like salty about you just kicking him off the the chat because we needed to communicate. We needed to hear each other. And it wasn't fair that he just kept rambling on and on and on and he just, he didn't understand that. I don't what was um was flesh a creeper I, I never really had much interaction with him but i just know that like he didn't really do his job sometimes and i can't i can't say the same because it's like i did more chilling than i did modding for base shaman so i'm not gonna lie about that i wasn't perfect oh you you want me to play that i'll play that in a moment i'll we'll, we can watch it Kenny's an extremist. How is he an extremist? But he's your favorite. You love trolling that Rusky? Oh boy. Let's let's go watch Rabbit's video. Let's see what, what insanity that Rabbit has bestowed upon us. Can I um Oh fuck no, I don't wanna look at that shit. I I, I can never fucking He was just soft. Oh man, I, I gotta do it the old-fashioned way. 
I gotta open this up. Because I'm still... No. Oh, look at... Guys, look at this shit. Alright, let me... Let me pull that... Let me pull that link up. God of War cringe? What, what is this? Let's see what this is about. This is Base Shaman. I'm not a horrible... What the person, fuck? please don't say I'm a horrible person. You're a horrible person, I don't know you. No, it was an accident, sweetheart. You didn't mean to hurt me. Oh, four dollars, a satirical rabbit. <laughs> Joel C. S. in the Shadow Realm. What the Hashtag fuck? Jesus saves. Rabbit. Thank you so much, satirical rabbit. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Rabbit, what the fuck is going on here? This is from this is from four years ago. You donated to a guy what I'm looking at. You you're looking you're donating to a guy and um he's getting arrested or something and um you donated to him he's live streaming for the four dollars that means we'll be on here another 24 minutes rabbit donated so to everybody him. thanks satirical rabbit in the chat room down below rabbit I did not try to hurt anybody or destroy anybody. I'm you really got me wanting to video. say, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to uh, say that fuck. Because right. I was confused. I misinterpreted. What the fuck is going on? Um, <laughs> you did a little I, uh, trolling. You send him money. What, what? I did feel uncomfortable and I felt pressured. Um, pressured? Okay, I'm going to do it. What should I say? Uh, he what should I say? This is nipple. epic. I'm not going to lie. I don't appreciate that. Wait, wait, I rabbit. Never... Explain to us the context. What happened here? I never had a problem with with flesh either, but it, like there was like on the Discord, like Aaron said, the only problem I had is that uh, flesh was a little bit too lenient, and it's like do your fucking job. He was live streaming himself being arrested. Who is this guy? Like, who who is this guy that we're watching getting arrested? Why'd you gotta send him money? Fuck this guy. Why would you send him? Did did you get a chargeback? And Shaman stream sniped him. <laughs> I see that. What happened? Like, what is? What was he getting arrested for? What was his name? Like, what? What? Who? What's his story? Give us context. I mean, it was whatever when Flesh was a mod, honestly. I don't, I've never had a problem with anybody like that. The only problem I had, oh, look at this piece of shit right here. Does anybody remember this guy? <laughs> I had a problem with this piece of shit because, um, but everybody did, especially on your stream, BJ, because he was very disrespectful to people, to precisely the women, actually. I remember that. Hey, look, it's Colterra. Yeah, Colterra. Jake C. I remember Jake C. Okay. So, basically, he is this weirdo that was mentioned by H3H3 once, and he would send weird links to his communities back in the day. All right, so why is he getting arrested? I wanted that, per se. Uh, look at his fucking haircut. Uh, Walter I Zero. I remember Walter Zero. I'm Erica, YouTube. Erica Frost. Erica Frost is a rapper, right? She was an aspiring rapper. I don't know if she's still doing it. But she stumbled across my raps. And then she wanted to collaborate. But this was the time I was sick. And she used to send me some of her shit. And she was very good. But, um... I tried to hit her up to, like, you know, to send her some stuff. But she never answered me back. She just kind of, like, ignored me. So I was like, alright, whatever. So I was just like, uh, hey, it is what it is, dude. Yeah, that guy was a fucking douchebag, yo. You used to troll that guy back then? How did you troll him? Announced. I'm talking about this... Like, let's let's not say his fucking name. We know who we were talking about when you... When BJ, when you banned him that day, like two years ago, that was the funniest shit. But he doesn't deserve to be mentioned. Your account will be terminated. This guy was oh, causing ruckus in Disneyland. Thank you so much. Yo, BJ, look at oh, that. Look no, at, I will not you're here, BJ. Thank Look you for the offer. I'm gonna say Another YouTube announced your account. Which means we will be on here for um 
Let's see. Another, let's see. Mikey C, I remember Mikey C. Alright. Hey, Rabbit, I want to know something because you recently put out this video, but why did you take off the comments? Hi, baby girl. Oh, no, you put them back, alright. Everything's okay, I promise. I forgive you. It's okay. This is Rabbit. Everything's gonna be okay. I love you. I love you so much. I love you more than there are grains of sand on every beach of every planet, of every galaxy of the universe. I, I need you in my life. Oh my I need God. you more than humans need water and food to survive. No, no, you need that first. You mean more to me. Oh boy. Than Home Depot means to Mr. Logerado. Good grief. You mean more to me than just anything. You mean more to me than gold and diamonds. Mean to the greediest world. And you're just the most perfect world. Oh, Hope you enjoy watching this game. <laughs> the fucking eyebrows. Dude, that music is some shit. I love you more than anything else in the world. <laughs> oh boy. Bye, baby girl. Bye. Stay perfect. Okay. Just for me. Oh shit. Just for me. Oh fuck you. And I and I like the fact that he put June sixth, the sixth, two thousand six, because that was six six six. Right? I remember that day because I went to school that day. And me being an edgy teenager, I was wearing all black that day. And then I remember they were doing like like the billboards were doing this thing that said 6606. Heed the omen. And it was for... And people legitimately thought that something bad was going to happen. But it was actually advertisement for like a new omen movie at that time. And a little bit of context about this guy. He did this for his girlfriend, but as creepy as this video was, his girlfriend was actually the creep, and he ended up breaking up with her because she kept obsessively calling him and harassing him and shit. So that's the funny thing about it. I like this video, Rabbit. This one that you did a week ago. <laughs> this one is fucking funny. When I never even... The Mississippi Queen. <laughs> What's with this fucking meme? <laughs> <Man. laughs> Man. Did he really get shot at or what? What the fuck was that? <laughs> And Charles Bronson sucks at shooting. I know y'all heard that. That's with the holes in his walls. I mean, I punch holes in walls too, so I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Yo, did, was he really getting shot at? Like, did like bullets really enter his house? Or he was just making like... He was pretending that... You know what? Oh, like I was saying, Candle. No, he faked it. You bitch. You're nothing but a lying sack of fucking shit. Oh, oh, we got here? Fuck me, bitch. I like, like, what's with the whole Mississippi Queen shit? Why? Why did this become a movie? <laughs> These fucking kids, man. These fucking kids.
you can't have your community getting fucked with that's that's right yeah mikey c he, he's a mod now too yeah i'm still modded on base shaman i was there last night just to you know say hi youtube did it it did it i didn't even know it the music are right, you got another one all right let's check it out and rabbit back masks him <laughs> talk do i know who crazy Loke is i know who he is it's, i think it was a, a sweet thing for him to do what are you talking about oh the the whole hi baby girl I um, it was sweet. His heart was in the right place, but you know, yeah, he faked it probably. Those bullets. I have three likes because I'm, I have eight like no, I have three likes. Yeah, I have three likes because you know what? It is what it is. I'm not a big name streamer. Nobody's obligated to fucking put likes. It's not gonna do anything for me. It's not gonna put me in the algorithm. You know, I just stream for you guys, so. Let me see. The titles on these shaman streams are straight up out attacking. I don't understand what, what's with that. I know he's making money, but it's like every stream is like, oh, Rax attack. Like, yo, I don't know, man. Do we have to keep fucking kicking that dead horse? Like, who cares, dude? Like. Do something else, Shaman, please. I love Shaman, but it's like, uh, I don't know. Just just do something else that doesn't have to do with lol cows. But then again, if he's doing, um, if he's making money, why the hell not? I don't know why you got unmodded either, BJ. I have no clue. But you shouldn't take it personally, man. It is what it is. Because I'm surprised I didn't get unmodded. I don't know why I didn't get unmodded. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Because I haven't been there consistently since like four or five years. Shaman is real 55th. <laughs> oh god, not the baby girl. Oh, this is old. Oh yeah, the Roz, she's back. Maybe he didn't execute the best, but she was being... It is what it is. He's a fully decomposed horse at this point. Shaman is kicking a skeleton. Yeah, he's making money. That's the only reason why he keeps doing the Cyrax and Locale shit. Base Shaman is making money off of it. This is how he eats. So if you gotta keep kicking a dead horse, why the fuck not? If this is gonna make you eat... Because if you think about it, when you go to work, you're already kicking a dead horse because you're doing the same fucking thing. So you're already kicking a dead horse to eat. But the problem is that this dead horse, it kind of sucks more than the other dead horse. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather be, you know, making money beating this dead horse than having to get up every day in the morning and, you know, put on my clothing and go outside into the cold world and beat that dead horse. Yeah, you know what? I was like big into Chris Chan, like Roz. I was really big into Chris Chan back then. Like, So when Shaman started doing Chris Chan, it wasn't a surprise to me that he was doing Chris Chan. Um, I, I just don't care for Chris Chan, to be honest, to be... I already had my fill, and I'm not into the low-cow shit. I'm a grown man. What the fuck do I need to do? But I know Rabbit sent us a video, so let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know this. Yeah, Crazy Loke, yeah. I mean, I, I remember the name. I vaguely remember, but he was always doing some stupid shit like What's this. What's up, homies? It's Crazy Loke's right here, homie. You know what I'm saying? For reals, though. God is good, homie. Yeah, he was always talking shit like, yo, I'm gonna beat you up. You know, he's like, he was down and shit. And it's like, yo, it's just some crazy Asian dude. Shoot, Crazy Lokes gotta keep things pushing, homie. You know what I'm saying? For reals, though. From now until the end of time, homie. No. Is he legitimate? Like, is he certified and shit? Or he's just some crazy fucking dude? 
year. Much love to the fans. Much love to the women. As I've done it all with the times. I'm the greatest to the world. Nah, he's, he's fucking crazy. Luke Perry as Carmen Electra. This dude is fucking... Crazy look, putting it down like a beast in Walmart. That's the last place I want to do. What the fuck is no. this? No, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> you got something cursing. He's cursing. Oh. No swearing, all right? Go, Rico. All right, you got something to say to that, Rico? My goodness, Crazy Loke. <laughs> Bell Bottoms yeah, went out in 1977. Get him. Go, yeah. Crazy Loke, get him. Round two, you're a stupid ass fool. Thought you fucking knew. No swearing. Can't curse, can't curse. Whoa. You got to stop cursing. No cursing. Exactly. You should get that right in this life, in this world. So you need to know from this stuff stuff. I'm being sincere, yo. Hope I made it clear, yo. Mess with me, you should never dare do. That's a true. Oh, shut up, crazy look. Fuck off. Yeah. What's up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the fat guy just passed by. Like, Walmart, like, baby. It's another day in Walmart. Carry that jab. Look at this Uppercut. crazy. You know how you get rid of Mayweather's shoulder roll? Go to the side like that. <laughs> All these I people. Like that one chick. Mayweather's on May 2nd. You're not even punching boop, right, boop, bro. Boop, 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 boop. In that low hanging hey, where's the shoulder roll? Rax does make it. Rax makes it easy for him to be trolled and to him to be mocked and ridiculed. And as much as I don't like to, like, because I feel like if I laugh, I'm making fun of those people and I don't want to troll anybody. I'm The time that I used to troll, I was in my late teens to early 20s. And I stopped that because I was like, this, this shit is corny. Right, and I didn't troll people that hard. I just used to go on to start arguments with people and, and and just get them pissed off and and like make photos of them and and they they would get really pissed and that was my extent. But I didn't take it far. But the Cyrax makes it tempting. I'm not gonna lie. And another person that I don't want to troll is Marshall Mathers the Fourth. But then when Rabbit comes on making his Marshall Mathers the fourth impression, I have to laugh because it's funny. And the fact of the matter is Marshall, he calls it upon himself to get trolled. He puts so much ammunition out there to use against him and he's surprised that people are using it against him. So I don't want to laugh, but I, I can't help but laughing and I can't help but looking at this car wreck. And Marshall Mathers IV doesn't like me for some reason because I told him off. And this was back when he was in Shaman's stream. When when Shaman was doing videos on him, so. Um I doubt that he fucking remembers me, so. I'm trying to figure out why Spooks is hanging with him. I don't know. Spooky Spooky what what's his name? Um Spooky Gamer Cult. I mean, he's he's on the fringe of a lot of stuff. Like he likes a lot of that shit, and that's you know that's his um that that's his mo. So you know, everybody has like something different about them, and Spooky likes to fuck with that. I would have fucked with Cyrex. I wouldn't even fucking bother lending my hand out to one of these low cows. So like more power to Spooky, man. I I, I can't fucking do that shit. If I didn't watch Shaman, I probably still wouldn't know about Chris Chan. I'm surprised, dude. I knew about Chris Chan way before I knew about Shaman, like decade before Shaman. He was actually part of the Asian boy Crips who, um, Crazy Loke. I mean, they, they, they must be a shitty gang, I mean, because if they got somebody like Crazy Loke, look at this shit. Yeah, what's up, homie? Crazy Loke's right here. I said I was gonna Did this was this like fucking crack or opium that fucked him up like this? Why the fuck is he like that? Crazy love. I mean oh shit, look at that. I'm playing myself. <laughs> um let's see what we have here. 
Those are some lame crips then. Yeah, I'm guessing so. It actually crips Asian I mean, I've seen Asian gang members everywhere, dude. They're all Vietnamese, Cambodian, and Hmongs. Crazy Loke will probably be a a Aaron scrawny white ass. I don't know, man. I've never seen a a Ron fight. Oh, you've never been in a fight, a a Ron? Good for you. Don't ever get into one, but you're gonna have to get into one at some point. If you're a guy, you're gonna have to fight for like defending yourself. I've been in my fair share of fist fights, but the last fight I've been into was like five years ago, so. I don't fight that much. And, and I had to fight last um, five years ago. But I beat the guy's ass, so. Crazy Loke. Probably never been. I wonder if BJ would win a fight with. I think BJ would. I can't fuck with Rax. I mean, the dude repulses me. But I can't make fun of him. And I imagine what it must be like to be him. And be in that position, I feel... I do feel sorry for Cyrax. Because he was born fucked up. Because his, I guess his mom was like drinking or doing drugs. He comes up from a cracked out fucking family. So... That's why he's the way he is. But at the same time... Like, he needs to be held accountable. And he's done some shitty things. And he says some shitty things. And there's a thing that's going on with Cyrax that I heard that he likes little girls or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, BJ doesn't get into fights these days. He's 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 long past that shit. <laughs> Not unless we go to the roller rink. <laughs> oh, Roz. All right, we gotta play this video. What the fuck? Who's this Janiba? Jan Janemba? What the fuck, rabbit? What the fuck did you just show me? Dragon Ball toys. More like Dragon Ball sex toys because this was a fucking mind fuck. What the fuck, rabbit? Why? Fucking why? Alright, we gotta put the lava. We'll change it to a different thing. What the fuck? I don't know what this shit was. Can I get blue? Oh, I like this color. Yeah. Janimba. <laughs> you remember that Janimba shit? Alright, another one for rabbit. Damn, I gotta put this back. I need a better way of doing this shit. Janimba, Janimba. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I remember this. It's like the kid is just playing with the wrestling figures and his like his father comes and bothering him and trying to beat him up because he's playing with it. Like let the kid fucking play with the wrestling figures, dude. Oh, I'm man. playing my wrestler. Well, here, come in here and get your mouth. What? Why are you sitting here? Stop spin on me, well, man. Well, here, get this mask out of the way. Get that mask out of the way. I can't play here. with my wrestler. My mask is live all over the place. You need to relax. Oh, yeah. Around right, board. How about you come play with me? Can you wait? I'm on live. You trying to give me pills? Eli, you take here. Oh. You already here. talking this crazy Shit, man. Don't man. take this. Oh, someone, you see this dude, bro? <laughs> move, nigga, move, bro. Fuck, give me that. Yo, get the fuck out of Yo, I'm about to cut your bitch ass, nigga. Move. <laughs> fuck you up, bitch. Fuck out of here, nigga. Get fuck off me, nigga. Nigga. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck off me, bitch. Give me that phone! I give you shit, nigga! Fuck off me, nigga! Fuck off me! Like, I would love... Honestly, I would love to understand what really was going on. I know 
All I know is that this kid was playing with his action figures, with his WWE action figures. And, like, his father just came in the room and just like, yo, stop playing with that. And he tried to, like, his father was being aggressive and shit. But that kid had a lot of fucking words, too. He's like, yo, you trying to get me pilled out here? Like, like he's calling his father bitch ass. He's like, yo, I'm about to cuff you. <laughs> Yo, that's the shit. I want to watch it again. I, I used to watch this a lot. I, I w always want to understand the context. I always wanted to know, like, is this the kid? J. Wiz, KG World. Let, let's 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 search him up. J. Wiz K. Is that how I spell it? K. J. World. All right. All right, there's nothing on this dude. All right, maybe he's no longer doing shit. But like, I would like to know more about it. Family violence, I know about that. Yo, what the fuck here? Get this I'm man. playing my wrestler. Well, here, come in here and get your man. What? Why are you sitting here? Stop spinning on me, well, man. Here. Get this match out of the way. Get that match out of the way. I can't play my wrestler. My mask alive all over the place. You need to relax. All right, I'm bored. How about you come play with me? Like he's just trying to keep a straight face after that and continue his shit, but he's like really ticked off. Oh, yeah. Can you wait? I'm on live. You trying to give me pills? You like to tick? Here. Oh. Tick. Here. You already here. talking this crazy shit, mess. Don't man. take this. Oh, so you see this dude, bro? Yeah. Move! Nigga, move, bro! Fuck, give me that yo, stupid nigga, phone, I'm about to, Yo, I'm about to cut your bitch ass, nigga. Move! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you up, bitch! I don't fuck know. Here, nigga. Fuck off me, nigga. Nigga. Fuck it. Fuck off me, bitch. Give me that phone! I ain't giving you shit, nigga. Fuck off me, nigga. Fuck off me. I don't know what, what the con I would like to know what more context of that. I don't know what that guy was saying. He was like <laughs> He looks like one of those guys too. I don't know. What the fuck? Sonic Underground. I remember that show. Why the fuck would that play? Alright, let me let me find the other video because Rabbit I was like fuck it. I'm not gonna fucking destroy that shit now. Uh, okay. Both my feet are. Hey, I think I remember this shit. Guys, it's me, Nicole. Um, have you ever had one of those things when you're shopping and you're. No. Well. Well. Because you're walking and shopping and walking and shopping. Well, I had one of those things. And so I wrote a song. It's an original by me. It brings back memories for you, except you knew better than to say that stuff to your dad. Damn, BJ. I bet. It's just a Boondocks live action film. That was probably Riley and Granddad. Because it did sound like Granddad a little bit, but he was just like slurred and shit. You gonna get some steps in? Alright, no problem. Both my feet hurt. See you, BJ. Hold. Thank you. Both my feet hurt. Here I go. Both of my feet hurt. Both of my feet hurt. Both of my feet hurt. And they hurt real bad. Yeah, both of my feet hurt. Boo. Both of my feet hurt. Boo. Both of my feet hurt. And it makes me mad. Why do they hurt? I don't know. Yeah, why do they hurt? I don't think so. Cause both of my feet hurt. They hurt really bad. Both of my feet hurt. And it makes me sad. Yeah, both of my feet hurt. I can't listen to this and shit I'm anymore. What year did this come out? Oh shit, this is a classic. 13 years ago, 2009? Oh damn. Does she have more shit? 
Does her feet still hurt? Alright, it looks like she can... It looks like she, uh, she, she grew up. Oh, she found love. Alright. Miss both of my feet hurt. Oh, that's nice. Oh. I hope he's rubbing your feet every night so they don't hurt anymore. And when, when did they get married? Oh, a month ago? Oh, okay. That's, that's beautiful. She got married last year. All right. That's very nice. That's very sweet. But, uh... Those songs suck ass, though. But hey, you know what? Be happy. Now nah, fuck this shit. When, when did they get married? Oh, fuck. shut up, dude. Um, let me see. She sings better than Billie Eilish. Yeah, Billie Eilish is like all depressed. Like, oh, I'm in bed, yeah. We have you need broccoli there? <clears throat> you need broccoli? Why? Why? <laughs> Te digo que Diego tiene colesterol, ¿no? Sí. Sí. Por eso, con cada comida le tengo que dar verduras para que las verduras le bajen el de este. Diego, cállate, ya se te dijeron que te lo vas a comer, te lo vas a comer. Por eso, por eso ya no le compré leche roja ni nada de eso. No, 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 you know, obviously he doesn't want to eat the broccoli, but they're going back and forth in in Spanish, and she's saying that he needs to eat broccoli, he needs to eat veg vegetables, because he has high cholesterol, and she can't buy him, you know, the, that red milk, basically strawberry milk, or the, the shit that he likes, that he eats too much junk food, and he needs to eat better, and this kid does not want any of it. Well, why did they buy pizza if they want him to eat healthy? Yo en la tarde en la casa no me voy a. Si aquí no quieres comer, yo voy a la casa, te he estado dando brócoli. Vas a seguir comiendo brócoli. ¡Ay, Wumba! Basically, she said that, well, you know what, you're gonna have to eat this, and then when we get home, I'm gonna feed you broccoli there, so you're gonna have to eat the broccoli. And he's just protesting. ¿No dijo la doctora que hasta diabetes te puede dar? Basically, alright, and I'm a fucking translator. The doctor said that. He could get diabetes if he doesn't change his diet, basically. I'm never going to have broccoli again! Yeah, he's crying, too. I hate broccoli! I don't even eat it! I think it's funny that they're trying to make him eat healthy when they don't even fucking set an example. Both of those women are fucking overweight. So I, I think that's kind of funny. But, uh, you know, that was not very nice for me to say. I'm a fucking jerk off. We're gonna see Lulu talk. Hey, Lulu. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. Aww. I love you. I love Lulu. I love Lulu. I love Lulu. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. 
say I love you. There's a Pomeranian that looks like a Chihuahua. I love you. Nice. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you. Uh, oh, oh, good girl, good girl, good girl. So that's Lulu talking. <laughs> that that is fucking sweet. That's fucking sweet. All right, let me let me play the other one. Let me see. Hey, Rapping about McNuggets. Rap sumo. You told my face. Oh my god. You know what I said? Niggas say said it don't be getting icy. You know. Yeah, dumb shit. Hey, my little dog Joker say Jesus peace around my neck and that protect me from my head. My boy, he needs that Brazier. He needs that Brazier, bro. Like, that's indecent exposure, that what he's doing, bro. He can't be out like that in public. He could get arrested. In a soupy, hey, donkey roll, call me anything but bro. Nuggets. He needs that German engineered brassiere. They call him, that should stop him from flopping. That German brassiere. Yeah, we still got the stacks on deck. I mean, you know, that, that's just how it go. With my little dog deals, white man on Fox. Well, you white got the stacks on deck, you need that but, uh, cholesterol you know, in check. Dumb shit, man. I let me know. But send the boot around, Sumo. Fresh ass G, the weed is all. Yeah, that's how we rock. What the fuck? But I let me know. Dumb shit. Fuck with me. Okay. Oh, pallet time. I like pallet time. Alright, so, Rabbit, what, what was that about? My side can hold it down. All right, more more satirical rabbit stuff. Oh, this is Reverend X. I know Reverend X. He's that Reverend that was cursing, and he would put like Tupac music and dance and curse at people. He's like, "You motherfuckers!" I haven't watched him in ten years. Just pose on this one. Yeah, even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting. Being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. There are whispers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boastful, inventors of evil things, Disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but approve of those who practice them. See, house niggas don't mind. I mean, the Ku Klux Klan members don't mind you um, lifting them and saying this they God, because they're going to expect disrespect the covenant of God. And they're going to train your ass to disrespect the Um, you missed it. I was playing, um, I was playing Just Cause, but then, uh, I stopped and we were just watching funny videos, dude. But thank you for joining me, Arm. How you been? Covenant of God, too. And their white ass is safe. If you need to go to his con congregation with A.A. Ron, you have to go back to 1997, dude. I mean, I probably will go back, though. Put the Tupac tape in that. Oh, I love this part. Put he's gonna Tupac put. Tape in. He's gonna put. Can't see me, right? I love that song. Let it play for the last three minutes. <laughs> this guy, man. Public access or something else. Jig on. <clears throat> Pump it up. Turn it up. The P. 
no problem mom thank you let's go come on come on over here come on you all right now give me your money give me your money You're truly wary. Why you house niggas don't get it? It stares in the eyes and they'll never realize that they can't see the pee. My lyrics bang like a grip of blood. Nigga, what? Ain't it nothing but a party in the club? And there I was. A young nigga with hearts, ain't had shit to lose. Pulling my pistol on the boots. You know the rules. DRE, you got me eating. Uh, I can't, I can't keep playing this. I don't understand why he was on, he was a fucking oh, hero. No, you the motherfucker pretending to be somebody that you ain't. I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I hate a motherfucker trying to kill me something that he ain't. You trying to be a good old white supremacy house, nigga. You trying to be a good... This was top quality. 1997. I was a little boy at that time. Rabbit, I think you were just born back then. Can you teach me and A.A. Ron to how to crip walk? Hell fucking no. I don't know how to fucking crip walk. And I would never fucking crip walk, you piece of shit. <laughs> last video, I dedicate this to Roz. Oh. We got a last video dedicated to Roz. All right, let's check it out. I'm going to fucking teach you how to fucking crip walk. Get the fuck out of here, dude. What is this? Icy Hot Stunters. It's on. What the fuck? Where are you finding this shit? It's on nigga and I got beef With a lot of pussy niggas be hating on me But I'm from show me bill So a nigga gotta show me The fuck you gonna do to a nigga like me Better what? know what you're doing for I send fro shooting in the all blue Buick All I gotta say is do it Bro, Ain't you can't say that fucking word, get dude. down to it Five busies and a chopper Your life is in ruins Don't Canadian talk about rap? the casualties I already know Take a look around And see who's next to go Is it you, him, or me? Or that was like J-Rock from fucking Trailer Park Boys But way worse me. But that's that warty shit and I'm no on it. That dark side shit, you know I'm still on it. My man Doggy dearly departed. That was one hard nigga to come out of Dartmouth. And I'm holding it down in case you don't know. I'm half black, call me Malado. And that little fro strapped up and ran toes. Had a trade for niggas just to drop Rob low. Cause it's wartime up in the Maritimes. We need more knives to commit more crimes. The Chrome 4 5 will leave you fucking paralyzed. You ain't dark side when you're hanging with the the other side is on. I mean, the beat is okay. And the lyrics are not like the, the shittiest. He has flow, at least. <laughs> I like that dance. It's on nigga and I got shrizzles And I hand them out to all my nizzles Ain't nothing else to it but to get down to it To trade deuce to nine milli Have you spitting up mucus and losing body fluid So how you wanna do it to fucking 380 They're from Joseph Strickland's hood? I'm talking like the dunnies when oh, I'm shit. gangsta walking But I'm talking like myself Oh why didn't they pick re re like respect to, to, the, to, the, to the fucking like beast Joseph Strickland When I come around The Denali got him sick The Z got him sick The GT got him sick The cut Got him sick, the Jeep got him sick. You hating ass bitch, don't fuck with the click. We strap to the tits. Tits. I like how they do, just do the chroma key and the fine edges. It's, it's, I said it's on that. It's on. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? I said it's on now. My name Rob Lowe or Rob Spit, cause I spit that shit, then spit on your bitch. Listen up, you niggas, I got the go ahead. Fresh show the fucking pen, I'll leave your ass dead. Wanna hate on my dog when I was locked up? Well, that's all right, that's where you fucked up. <laughs> my niggas and me don't play no games. Cut your throat and leave you dead on the range. Talking that shit, but you don't phase me. Fall your piss, down the road, raise me. Me and Double O was side by side. Seen niggas running hide when it was time to ride. Had to lace my boots and fight like a man, yo. Niggas got stomped, hostilized, and shit. Whoa, gotta get back for all the time I lost. Still paying dues and I'ma do that for the boss I bet you didn't know that I was a bodyguard That's right nigga, I always was hard So don't you try to play me for a softy Cause I'm coming scrapped with my nigga Smoke Deezy It'll be all on you like BGZ Calm me down, I don't think so neasy it's on, nigga, ain't no stopping us now. Grab the AK and put you in the ground. You niggas want to eat here, gobble it down. I got to give a shout out to one of my rounds. Wade Beals doing life, still holding it down. Down, down, Now, now. I'm going to be real. The guy, the, 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 the second rapper, his verse was much hotter than the, the first one. That, that second verse was much better. Canada's gangster it hasn't caught up to the thug of Canada. Yo, I'm, I appreciate this 2004 it's, it's, it's shit. On. It's on. It's, it's, it's on when did this... Oh, what the fuck? It's, it's, it's on. Tales from the Dark Side. It's, it's, when did this come out? This has to be old. It came out in 2011, all right. He is on. Yeah, I know you got a lot of biker gangs and gangs in general. I know that. How much for a CD? I mean, you know what? I think it was kind of catchy. Like, the second verse was kind of fucking catchy. But, um, let me see. He is on. Let me see, because I don't know how to blow up that fucking oil rig. So I gotta keep shooting with that. Wasn't what, wasn't that what I was doing? Wasn't I just fucking shooting it constantly? Dread copy this. <laughs> Yo, how, how this mission for me try to blow up in a jet with knowing that you need to hit the tanks. This, this thing is fucking... Yeah, I'm stuck on this mission too. How, how do you fucking do that? So I'm not the only one having trouble with this mission. Like, it seems that a lot of people... Yeah, I mean, I'm shooting up the thing, and I was shooting up on all corners of it, and I couldn't destroy it. Let me try it again. I'm gonna try it one last time, and yeah, I'll, I'll shut it down. It's on. Yo, but it's on, dude. You, you can't tell me that it's not on. It's on. We're gonna fucking turn it on. It's on.
All right, it's working. We're gonna try again. One last time, guys. Right, we're gonna try this one more time, guys. Cause it's on. I'm just gonna start shooting. Look, I'm, I'm shooting the shit out of it, damn. Oh, no, no, no. I did some damage to it, so... Let's see if I could just... Maybe that's the trick, just keep shooting at it. Shit. We'll keep missiles on the oil rig. What the fuck? On no, it's not. Stop it. Stop it. Yo, what's up, guys? Talk to me. Arm, um, how you doing, by the way? If you're still in the chat. I hope you're here. I hope you're still here. I hope you rejoined. Yourself don't hold it down. Ooh, yeah, baby. Request for air support granted. Nah, don't request for shit. Wants to hold it down with me, guys. Oh my god, guys. I'm sailing away. I'm sailing away. I'm not sailing, I'm flying. I'm flying away, baby. Uh. I'm a fucking goofball. Um, half is gone, now take out the rest. What, what, what are you talking No, don't do it, man. You can't hold, you just mad because you can't hold it down like I do in the south, right? The south can hold it down. Yo, guys, come on, talk to me. I'm getting bored. Yo, why am I still, the missile still following me? Damn. Alright, I got him. You need to shoot him. Okay, Did I make some progress? I hope I did. Yo, what the fuck? Backup team on the way. Oh, 
No, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Yo, but I can't fucking do that shit. What the hell? Alright, one more time and I'm gonna shut it down. <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I, I do not know how to land this shit. So when I need to get off, I have to just destroy it. I really don't know how to crack this open. <clears throat> Yeah, this this is probably one of the more difficult missions that I've ever come across. No, what are you doing, you crazy whore? The <laughs> oh boy, I didn't even mean to fucking do that. That sucks. I lost that. A A Ron sharded. Ew, that's that's gross. Ugh, yeah. Why why he sharded it? He sharded it. Yo, yeah, keep yeah. You tell him, A A Ron. You 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 tell him. You tell A A Ron. You tell him. You 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 let him know who you are. Like you don't don't tell him. He's not a poopy pants. He doesn't poop his pants. Maybe he did at one point in his life. Like we all did because, you know, we all were infants at one point in life, but, you know, he stopped that. No. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Fuck! Shit. Alright guys. I'm gonna I'm turn it off because I'm hungry and shit. But uh, I'm gonna thank you in advance for joining me on this stream. And uh, next week perhaps. We're gonna continue more. With some of this shit. And hopefully I'll get the hang of it. So um, thank you guys for joining me. It's been three hours. And um, yeah. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Tune in next time. I'm going to see what happens. Maybe more videos. Maybe more bullshitting. Maybe me dying some more. But I appreciate you guys spending time with me. Roz, BJ, Satirical Rabbit, AA Ron, Arm. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. I'll see you next week. Baron of Anarchy. And I'm out. I love you all. I really do. <laughs> Alright, guys. Take it easy.